said bro's extra late today dub is that gray i what color is this i would say this is beige Hello, everybody flooding in. How is everybody doing on this fantastic fucking Friday? I'm late. Why do y'all always make it so... Oh, my God. Y'all are making me start to feel bad about being late. Joe, you're 15 minutes late today. Joe. Joe, normally you're like six minutes late. Today, you're like uh, 13 minutes late. That's not gray. It's not. What color is this, chat? Beige. How do you even spell beige? It's like a tan. Like a tan beige s color. Yeah, it's beige. It's literally beige. Like, I don't know why motherfuckers are trying to tell me this shit's gray. In what world? And who gives a fuck? Today's a react day. Dub in the chat for that. M can for the sub, Lil Slugger for the sub, Jane for the sub, Geo for the sub, Ellie, your Baconator, and Seb for the sub as well, pre-stream. Thank you guys for the subs. We got a bunch of reactions today. Uh, we're starting off, we're not watching a Darman video today, okay? We have a Darman video, Darman-esque video set for Sunday, uh, but I don't really want to watch a Darman video today, so uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to start out with a Jubilee video. Uh, one from a year ago, ranking high schoolers by GPA. Uh, so they're guessing each other's GPA. Then we got a police video. Haven't watched one of these videos in a while. What not to do if somebody hits your car or someone, if you hit someone with your car. God damn, I can't read. Uh, eating people's DoorDash food. I went to the incest capital of America. School rules that make no sense. How to survive a polar bear attack. What killed the Clash of Clans franchise. How this guy balances impossible rock structures. And then we end off with a scary video called The Glass. Which I'm just now realizing has 895 views. So this might be a really bad video. However, you guys sent this in the video suggestion tab. So I'm going to have faith in my chat's good selections. Oh, for the sub, Cali for the 300 biddies. I'm a 15-month sub, but my card declined yesterday. So I, I lost my sub streak. I don't think your sub streak has to be every day. I believe you have like a three-day buffer. Uh, and even outside of that, your sub streak isn't what matters as much as the sub length, uh, as that's what correlates to the badge. Kermit for the sub, app for the sub, Ding for the sub, Code Mag for the sub, and MCAN, thank you for the sub again. Now chat, Max for the sub. These videos seem valid, I know. I know, I, I, I'm pretty good at selecting the videos. I'm pretty good sifting through the shit. Right? That's what I do. You guys send me a lot of shit. Right? Most of the React videos that y'all send me, garbage. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Right? I, I, I will say most of the videos, like somebody, okay, let's just do a quick example. Like somebody sent some dumbass video. I was just going through them. That's why I'm late, by the way, because I was going through the fucking video suggestion tabs. Like somebody sent uh, this. Sunday's video called Escaping Project Playtime in Among Us. Okay, what the fuck? This is what this is an example of some of the shit y'all send me. Boxy Boo in Among Us. If you've ever heard of boxes, hit the like button. What does that mean? Hey, what? Are you okay? I'm gonna hit it like this. Hit the like button. It'll turn into a box. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment saying box feet. What does that mean? Yeah, All right, follow feet. me. So, I'm first following. thing, ignore what I'm about to read. Thank okay. you for choosing to be a part of. Like, y'all sent me this. Yo, Max the Pope for the five gifted. Wait, was that five or ten? Wait, that's more than ten. How many fucking subs is that? How many fucking subs was that? How many subs was that? That was 25? Nah. Bro, I thought that was a five gifties. I keep scrolling down. 
The subs don't end. Max the Pope, thank you for the 25 gifteds, bro. Dub. Thank Max the Pope if you got a sub. You sent me an individual sub as well. Thank you for that. Bam for the sub. Sean for the sub. My voice is kind of fucked today, by the way, chat. Uh, so if I'm not as loud as normal or I sound a bit different, that's why. Uh, but Max the Pope, bro. Think of the fucking 25 gifted subs. I appreciate that shit. Kaleo for the sub. Callie for the sub. And Leo for the sub as well. Max, bro. Thank you for the subs. No, but this is what I mean, right? I sift through the shit. Most of the React videos y'all send me are equivalent of this. Uh, I don't know why uh, whoever sent this sent this. Presuming that I would watch this entire 15-minute video on stream. Also, I saw somebody say Sunday fell off. He did not. Sunday makes Hi. a lot of money. Sunday averages like a million views a video. He didn't fall off. He fell off with his base audience. Now six-year-olds watch him. That's what happened. Also, um, I, I promised you guys that a lot of people were bitching at me yesterday to hit a card on stream. Uh, I'm not going to hit a card today. Uh, I'm actually going to try and wean myself off of uh, smoking, right? Uh, I don't think smoking marijuana is as good uh, for you as people say it is. Um, I don't think it's as bad as smoking cigarettes or alcohol. However, um, I will try and transition to um, bank. Bink. Now, my friend gave me this, and I believe it's 20 milligrams medical, right? Now, do I eat this? I, <laughs> because, and then here's ProGross say, hey, bro, Max for the 20 gifteds. I'm going to fucking freak out, man. I'm going to freak out, man. Max the Pope for the 20 gifted subs. What the fuck? How many is that today? 45? Bro, I ate a 50 MG. Yeah, you ate a 50 MG nerds rope, you fucking dunce. My God. You ate a 50 MG fucking nerds rope. You need to eat that shit out of a med dispensary. You ate some boof shit, some Delta 8 gummy you found from the gas station. Those shits don't hit. I've eaten a 400 milligram Delta 8 before. Buddy, those are fucking whack. They do nothing, okay? Don't try and make fun. Oh, it fucking hit. Yeah, I bet it did. So don't sit here and tell me that like, oh, my shit. Oh, I got to fucking, oh, 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 50 milligrams. Oh, 40 milligrams, 20 milligrams. Oh, those don't fucking do anything. I'm going to eat half this bitch. Is that fair? Eat it all or you're a rat? I think I just ate more than half. Is that more than half? And we'll see what happens in about a half hour. Anyways. As I was saying, I don't want to smoke as much. Uh, nor I don't. I, I, to be fair, a lot of people think I'm a pothead now. But, like, I don't smoke weed every day. Right, chat? Um, I smoke weed, like, or I used to smoke weed, like, twice a week. Right? Like, Friday, Friday Saturday. That's why you usually see me hit a, a dab card on stream. But. Weed has a lot of carcinogens, not the safest uh, in the sense of carcinogens. I know weed itself is safer than like cigarettes and alcohol to a degree, but uh, edibles are safer than that. So why not use the safer version of that? So that's what I'm going to do now. Is that fine, chat? Is that okay? Yes or no? Do a line. Stop trying to tell me to do cocaine. No. Max for the 10 gifteds as well. Damn, this thing's gummy as hell. Max, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, bro. I appreciate that shit. Fucking 55 subs total today. Dub in the chat. Let's get into the reactions, chat. Are y'all ready today? Tidy for the sub. Max, again, Max the underscore Pope. Thank you for the 10 gifteds. Glenn for the 300 bitties. I wanted to say help me through some tough times here. All I could donate, but I keep up, uh, but keep up the dub streams. Bro, you don't have to donate anything if uh, you're tight on money or anything. Donations are entirely optional, but I do appreciate all of them. Thank you for the 300 bitties. Pixie for the, th uh, for the 300 bits as well. And Max, thank you for the fucking 10 gifted again. All right. Starting out. Somebody said Haribo is ass. I, I would agree. Yo, do y'all fuck with Haribo gummy bears? Haribo gummy bears are fucking gross. People that eat, the people that overtly so, L take, L take. 
You can't even digest them. When you shit out gummy bears, you're shitting out straight up gummy bears. Like you're, you barely digest them. You're shitting out the flakes that you chewed. They're fucking gum. It's literally just like xanthum gum. That's what it tastes like. There, there's barely any taste and they're pretty shit. They're bad. Dude, you want to eat a gummy thing? Sour Patch Kids. They're better. They're better. Sour Patch Kids. Mike and Ike's. Starbursts. Bro, I could go on and on. I could go on and on. Better than Haribo gummy bears. What are you, 80 years old? Watermelon Sour Patch Kids. Haven't had those in 10 years. Those are fire as fuck. I'm going to have an L take right, right after this. Reverse L. The blueberry Sour Patch Kids are the worst flavor. Play it up for the sub manifest for the 300 bits. Put those gummy bears in the fridge. They're fire as fuck. Never, I've never done that, so I don't know if they're good. Pixie for the 300 bits again. All right. Let's start it out. Let's start it. Yo, the best. Yo, yo, what's the best flavor of Sour Patch Kid? It goes in order. Cherry. I'm going to go lime. I'm, okay, I'm going to do colors. I'm going to go red. I'm going to go green. I'm going to go yellow. I'm going to go orange. No, I'm going to go blue. And then I'm going to go orange. Orange is the worst. Orange is the worst. Uh, being real. Uh, I'm going to change my decision. Blue raspberry is better than orange. Uh, Leo for the thousand but he's tick for the sub. Bro, I just fucked up my stream here. All right, hold up. Now we're good. I fucked up my alert box. Okay. Let's get into it. Ranking high schoolers by GPA. Everybody lock in. We got to get into stream. Been live for 12 minutes. Haven't even started a fucking video yet. Everybody ready? Lock in. Everybody type locked in. Smoke heroin. I don't even think that's possible. We will colonize Mars someday. What do you think? Answer in the comments below and suggest a prompt on our Kickstarter. I don't give a fuck. Kickstarter? What is this, 2015? Jubilee? I know this video was a year ago, but fuck. 2022, y'all starting a Kickstarter? My God. What are we making? What are we making? Some whack ass shit now? What is this weird product? Where will you stand? Straw. What a dumb game. It's okay to be close to your ex. Strongly disagree to strongly agree. What a bad game. Dear Ben, so thank you, Darren. Thank you, Smart. Thank you. If you had to rank yourself against others based on a specific trait. What would it say about how you see them and how they see you? Dude, I feel like this isn't that hard. Like, if you're the high schooler out of this group with a 1.0 GPA, just immediately throw yourself in the bottom. If you got a 4.0, say, no, I strongly think I'm the top. I know they're not allowed to share their GPA with one another, but I feel like it's kind of obvious. Like, the middle's kind of the hard, the hard guessing game. But if you're like, if you walk into this and you got like a 1.3 GPA, you got to be like immediately like, yeah, okay, I'm going to put myself in the bottom here. And then they're going to be like, no, I think I'm in the bottom. No, 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 I'm in the bottom, right? And then the top, conversely, you have a fucking maxed out GPA. Same damn thing. We asked. Yo, do y'all think that edible's going to hit me? I feel like that might have been a bad idea. I just did that shit. We might have a Kai Sinat scenario here where I'm fucking like slumped in a chair. Bro, max the Pope for the 6,000 biddies. Dude, what are you doing? You've given me like 55 subs and 6,000 bits in the span of 10 minutes. Joe did an edible. Yeah, I just ate one. TJ for the 300 bits. I'm not going to lie. Medical ed edibles come nowhere close to a person that knows how to make and disease edibles the right way. I think you used the wrong word there. You said disease. I, I know what you mean, like cooking them into, making the edible butter and then cooking it into a brownie. Yeah, that I know what you mean there. But like when you get like Delta 8 shit from a gas station, bro, those could say a thousand milligrams. You could mack that whole thing and feel nothing. You put disease. What did you mean? King for the 300 bits, big brain for the fucking sub. And Max the Pope, thank you for the fucking 6,000 fucking biddies. Massive dub. All right. Six high school students to rank each other based on what they assumed each other's GPAs are. Then we rearrange. Do you think they're doing this off of unweighted GPA or weighted? 
it agitated me when people would say they're weighted GPA in high school. Are y'all the same? I mean, like, the people that say they're weighted GPA are going to say, oh, it's not a problem. But, like, dude, it would annoy the fuck out of me when somebody would, I would be like, what's your GPA? Of oh, 4.6. Uh, that's not possible. Oh, I mean weighted. Like, ain't nobody give a fuck that you took four APs. Fuck you. Yeah, oh, me over here, I took AP Bio. That was the only AP I took in high school. I ain't give a fuck that you took AP History. Sit down on that one. Actually, I was an AP Britlet. And then I dropped to regular. Because I didn't want to try. Because fuck Shakespeare. Uh, DJ from 300 Bits. My mom is a meth addict and my dad does heroin. And G Fuel's the only thing. Not reading the rest of that because that's a shitty G Fuel shout out you're trying to do right there. Don't act, don't act like your mom's a meth addict so you can transition me to a fucking G Fuel shout out. G Fuel calms them down and stops them from doing drugs. Okay. Max for the 300 bitties. All I need to do is gain trust to become an MVP. No. VIP is not through donations. VIP is through chat recognition, consistency in streams, good chats. My mods have to like you. My chat has to like you. A lot of shit, right? It's not just like donos and then being in stream. Uh, but Max, thank you for the 300 bits. It is in part chat recognition, which could come from donos, but also just funny chats. Like 2inch. Like 2inch has funny chats them by their actual GPA. This is ranking. I guess, I guess I'm going first. Um, I What's funny? What's funny? Why are we laughing off rip? Nothing's funny. Um, I used to be kind of obsessed with like homework and like doing well and all that stuff. But after quarantine, I realized that I was like missing out on like the actual high school experience. So this year I'm involved. Yo, in a why are they not wearing shoes? Is that every Jubilee video? Because they have a white floor. So? I'm not, I'm not, bro. Okay, now I'm going to have, now I'm going to have a massive L take here and I'm going to piss some people off. I despise when I walk into a house and they tell me to take my shoes off. I fucking hate it. I fuck, I'll do it out of respect for you, right? And, and it's your home. It's your rules. But, like, damn, dude, I'll walk into my... Yo, like, I get it if you got, like, some dirty-ass shoes. But, like, bro, look. Like, this is the bottom... Like, I, these are the shoes I wear casually. Like, yeah, there's dirt in the bottom of them. But it's wedged in there. Like, that's not coming out. Like, so when you're sitting there... Can this thing fucking focus? When you're sitting there, that's nasty. You're really trying to tell me that's nasty? Are you really going to say, ew, like you're the bottom of your shoes are fucking are, are lickable clean. Okay. Okay. You're touching the soul. Like, I ain't give a fuck. Like, what, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Like, oh, oh my God. Like, it's your fucking shoe. Like, yo. Like, y'all really... No, motherfucker said ew when I showed my shoe. Like, I know half of y'all have dog shit in the bottom of your fucking shoes. And you know you do. And you know you do. And you're trying to say ew to me because I got a little fucking dirt speck stuck in the bottom of my fucking shoe. And you're sitting there. Joe's definitely high. I'm not high. Fuck off. I'm, I'm, dude, I, yeah, I took an edible. I took that shit five minutes ago. That shit ain't gonna hit for an hour. Anyways, fuck off. Trying to sit here and tell me, like, <laughs> oh, that's dirty. It's the bottom of your shoe. A lot. I'm the president of the Black Student Union. I'm also the president of our school's um, anti-racism and equity task force, a senior class of 22 ambassador, and I'm also on the dance team. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was not in clubs, <laughs> but I was in track. I was managing my business, which I'm currently still managing with my mom. Now, does, does being in a sport mean your GPA is going to be lower? I would say that, ch like, when you do nothing, when being in clubs, I would say your GPA is probably higher. Being in a sport would lean towards it being lower because you're focusing more on that. I would say it depends what sport. I would agree. Somebody said that. It depends what sport. If you're in, like, 
Oh, what's like a sport where people just don't try in like actual school? I don't know. I don't want to offend people here because now they're going to be pissed. Now they're going to be mad if I say, if I say a sport where so I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to remove myself from this, from this conversation. I'm not going to list a sport where I think people have low GPAs because that's going to agitate people. I'm not going to say, I'm not, you know, I'm going to hold myself back on that one. You're going to get kicked. You get kicked out if your grades are low. You get kicked out if your grades are low, but dude, they'll kick you out if you're, if you're like failing. It's not hard to stay on a team, like team GPA requirement. Like a football GTA GPA requirement is what? Like a, like a, a fucking 3.0. Like it's not, it's not a fucking, it's not like a, a fucking 4.0. It's like a, it's like an average score. DJ from Three Inch Bets. I'll chat better with a, I'll, sorry for the trash joke. I'll chat tomorrow with a better joke. What joke? Faithy for the sub max from Three Inch Bets. My shoes look like armadillo skin on the bottom. What? Amy and Zeke for the sub C bag for the three inch bits. I'm an alpha and a sigma male. I joined Hustlers University. Okay. Leo for the, th uh, the thousand biddies. It's been a while since I've been on stream and I come back to you doing edibles. Shit's finna hit you hard if it's your first time. Not my first time, but I've never done an edible on stream. So this is a first. Y'all witnessing history right now. The boy for the three inch bits. Max for the three inch bits. Watch your videos since The Walking Dead. Duh. Uh, DJ for the three inch bits. Oh, the, you, DJ made the fucking meth joke with G Fuel. I don't know. I've never been a part of any of that. That sounds really you cool. You have a business, though. That's I know. Really cool. Yeah. <laughs> so my freshman year, I was president of my show choir. And then sophomore year, I was dance captain of my show choir. And then now... Are y'all in clubs? Like, I joined one club the entirety of my high school experience. I don't... Dude, I was in philosophy club for, like, three months. I was in Interact. I was in Interact my freshman year. I was in Interact my freshman year, and then I was in Philosophy Club. I think I might have been in a gaming club, too. I don't really remember, though, because we never had meetings. Two Inch got good jokes today. What did he say? Rogue for the 510 bits. Uh, Keys, Kizuri for the fucking sub. I was in Trading Card Club. Dude, I think I was in Rocket League Club. I don't remember though. I don't remember if we had that. I'm doing social media director for my dance team, which I've been on for three years. I'm also in nationals. Two Inch said, holy shit, Chad. I just got an email. I just got W email. A Bro, can you like use like correct grammar, Two Inch? This is what Two Inch said word for word. Holy shit, Chad. I just got W email. A college wants to give me W full ride to college. I don't know how, seeing that you fucking couldn't type a goddamn sentence. Honor society at my school. <laughs> I was on track and I did swim. And then um, I'm also a musician. So I was in band for all four years. I did like track, cross country. I'm also in a few Damn, clubs. Damn, everybody do track in this fucking lineup. There's period poverty. Earth Club is another one. And then I do like a lot of community service. I was really worried about some people because I think sometimes GPA can be deceptive because I know a lot of people who are very careless about school and just go with the flow and then proceed to have like 4.6s. I feel like grades are not really a measure of intelligence or worth. It's more you so- You can also, we got to factor in cheating here. Had to say it because I remember kids that were in AP physics that didn't know fuck all about AP physics and just paid the kid next to them to cheat off them. Uh, so their GPA was high as fuck. This kid, this one kid keeps spamming, you missed my dono. Dude, I didn't miss your dono. I'm, I'm about to time you out. You didn't send me a dono. Your bit dono would show up. You didn't send me a dono. There are zero donos. Type that one more time. I'm going to time you out, bro. Unless it was a fucking PayPal dono. Go Shady for the Fringe Bits. I think one of my good friends might have killed themselves. He said that this girl dumped him and he's not been online in two weeks. What do I do? Contact him or go see him in person? Just because he hasn't been online doesn't mean he's killed himself. If he said his girl dumped him and then he hasn't been online, he might just be taking a break from the internet. Just a stranger for the 10 gifteds. Thank you for the 10 gifteds. Just a stranger 49 max for the 1,000 videos. Biddies too. Should I go to college? Your your opinion. I don't like when people ask me, should I go to college? That's your own life choice. I'm not going to make a definitive life choice for you. 
I have a 3.8 GPA and I can go into college, but I don't know if it's worth it. Up to you. All right, it's what track you want to go down. You could go to trade school and not go to college. You could go to college. You could not go to either. You can do whatever you want. It's your life. You control your own life. Just a stranger. Thank you for the 10 fucking gifteds, bro. I appreciate that shit. Did you flex? No, I did not. And Max for the thousand bitty. Steve Ang for the three inch bits. Dreamy Bull wants to collab with you. Dude, Dreamy Bull's a porn star. Stop trying to get me to collab with Dreamy Bull. Like how good you are at like the school system in the U.S. Like the GPA system and all that. For me personally, I don't feel like it defines who you are. Yeah, I can agree. I've never cared about school in a way. And my parents always would say like, do what makes you happy. And they would never pressure me. Yeah, and, and my family- If they say they don't care about school, I would move them down. Not because, like, I didn't really care about school that much, and I had, like, a, like a 3.8. But, like, saying you don't care about school immediately means that it's not as a big a priority as other kids. How do you know that? Well, I'm just saying, if you don't care about school, you would immediately lower them. Family, um, what is GPA? Grade point average. It's like, you say you have, like, a nine, say you have, like, an 80. I'm pretty sure that's a 3.0. If you have a 4.0, that's a 100. Shit like that. Hydroxy for the sun. It pressures me. It's an American on. GPA, or it's an American system on rating somebody's grades. Rate for the sun. Trying to be top ranks and to be the first one to go to college. Um, yeah, growing up, my brothers didn't do the greatest, and so my parents kind of shifted onto me. Yeah, I would agree. I don't have that much pressure on me, though. It's more just kind of like I wanted to do good, I guess. Um, what classes do you guys take? Like, any AP classes, any honors classes? God damn! Fucking out! What the fuck? AP Lit, AP European History, AP Human Geography, AP Psychology, Additional AP. Buddy, settle down! My God, fucking hell! Yeah, this is more my. Yeah, this is more my realm. David, one AP. That's my. Yeah, I'm David right there. Fuck, dude. What do? Like, I feel like, like, people that took all APs in high school, like, dude, you had to ha you were just doing homework all the time. Like, that must have just sucked. I was like, what? How do they even have the energy? Like, I don't even have energy for normal classes. Like, <laughs> like, if I took all APs, I would not have been able to have a job my senior year. Like, me be like, me having a job, I could have one AP. If you take all AP, what is AP? Advanced placement. It's like, it's like, if you take regular physics... You're going to cover, say, one-third of physics for the high school level requirement. If you take AP or honors, two-thirds, AP, three-thirds. It's like the level of... Di Let me use video game. Let me use video game quality, okay? Minecraft peaceful is like college preparatory, right? Minecraft regular is like honors. Bro. And then Minecraft Hardcore is like AP. Max? What the living fuck? Thank you for the 50 fucking gifteds, dude. Oh my god. Dude, you gotta stop giving. Don't give any more subs today. You've given like 105 subs and 6,000 biddies. That is so many fucking subs. What the fuck? Dude, thank you. Thank you for the fucking 50 gifteds. Thank them if you got a sub. 50 people just got fucking subs. Dude, I've been live for 29 minutes. I have 151 subs. Fucking two-thirds of which came from Max. Bro, thank you for the fucking subs, bro. My God. Fucking so much, so many subs there. Dude, chill out on this. Dude, don't give any more subs today. That is so many fucking subs. That is actually insane. Thank you for the fucking subs, Max. I appreciate that shit. W for you, genuinely. Thank them if you got a sub. 50 people just got a, uh, a sub from Max. Uh, so if you got one from them, thank you. Uh, or thank them. Big boy for the sub, or B-boy for the sub. Emily and Schlong for the sub. Dude, Max, that is insane, bro. Like, that was so many subs out of fucking nowhere. Uh, and Max also put David Dub for the 300 bitties. AJ for the sub. And Dash for the 300 bets. Your content makes me smile. I had an emergency brain surgery. Jesus Christ. Because I had a tumor and your stuff makes me smile. Well, I, I hope your brain surgery went well, and I'm sorry you had to go through that, but holy fuck. I'm glad my content could help in any way that it can, and W for that. Uh, and Max, thank you again for the 50 gifteds.
Yeah, I'm gonna go there. <laughs> She's taking like five AP, so I feel like she should like stay. Well, you're taking five, oh, you're taking five as so well. So I would say you're up. So I feel like I you should be pushed up. I, I, I don't know, Sorry. like you're tricky, I can't figure no. you out. <laughs> You're oh, an NHS. I you're up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but like, I feel like that doesn't bring it. Bro, I feel, I feel mad, mad dumb in this lineup. Like, I, I would be annoyed. I would be annoyed that like, cause it, like, it's GPA. I don't want to be that guy, right? But GPA doesn't equal intelligence. I'm sorry. You're in college, though. I know. But I'm saying when I was in high school, I'm saying GPA does not equal intelligence in any way, shape, or form, right? Because, like, you could be a try-hard AP kid and also be, coincidentally, like, the dumbest kid ever. Like, I'm not trying to shit on AP kids or, conversely, like, hype up kids that are in college prep. But, like, yes, if you have a really high GPA and you're taking AP, you have really good book smarts to the sense that you're actually trying. But it's also the sense of, like, a lot of kids that are in college prep could easily do APs. They just don't fucking want to. Like, I was in one AP in AP bio. I could have taken others, but I didn't see a purpose in even doing so. Because I knew I wasn't going to go to a fucking Ivy League. It was just an absolute waste of my time to fucking make myself do all that. What does GPA mean? Last time I'm saying this. Grade point average. Anyways, when they were placing me in the front, I was just like, maybe it's like the stereotype also. Like, Asians tend to have the stereotype of having really high GPAs. He also took a lot of APs, too. Uh, yeah, you might be I, up, too. I feel like you should be, like, first, yeah. honestly. Well, also, do AP classes like mean like... everything, though? Well, for like... Facts! Well, for GPA, well, for GPA, they do. Well, for GPA, my weighted GPA, well, for weighted G yeah, and then here's the, and then, and then here's where I, and here's where I zone out, right? Here's where I fucking, my brain turns off. When they start ranting about goddamn weighted GPAs. I don't give a fuck, okay? I don't give a fuck, right? Because weighted GPA is absolute bullshit because you just immediately get extra points for having an AP class. And I understand that AP classes are harder. I was in AP Bio, which is one of the easier APs, but nevertheless, it's still an AP. It's harder than regular Bio or Honors. However, sitting there and saying, okay, like you could be an AP kid with 70s and have a higher weighted GPA than a kid that's getting hundreds in college prep. I think the kid that's getting hundreds in college prep could get 70s in AP. Like, if you're, it, I, I understand, okay, yes, the kid that's getting 100s in AP should have a higher GPA than the kids that are getting 100 in college prep. But if you're, if you have like a weighted GPA that's matching a college prep kid, that means that you're just scoring lower in your classes. Are you sure? Yes. Weighted, if you're in AP classes, you get a higher, you get a boost. If you're all, if you're in college prep in everything, the highest weighted GPA you can have is 4.0. If you're in honors, all honors, I think it's 4.5. And if you're in all AP, it's 5.0. Am I right? I might be wrong. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Leo for the thousand bets. Uh, started intro to science class. Dad got happy. He works in the comp sci field. My junior year, he got me into AP comp sci. I had to cheat just to get a C. Yeah, because comp, comp sci sucks. It's the most fucking painful class you could take. I don't know why you thought that would be a good idea. Lil J for the 300 bets. You should play Hogwarts Legacy. No, Max for the 300 bets. Trying to bless as much as I am blessed and never forget God is good and everything that's nice will turn out well for everybody. W message. And thank you, Max, for the 300 bets. I appreciate that shit. Or what if you don't yeah, have AP sure. classes, but you have a really good, like... Um, like, if you take regular, you can't get over four. So that's just, like, what I'm thinking. I feel like yeah, I should yeah. still switch with you, though. I just have a gut feeling. I have a feeling that you're, like, two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel like you should I be feel two. like I want to say you're first. I, I, I'm only I taking think you're one second. Right okay, I, I think okay. that you have going Are you sure? I'm getting the vibe that she wants to stand in first. Just ha She doesn't want to say that she thinks she's the smartest. But she thinks that she's the smartest. <laughs> like, bro, how? Well, if you have college prep, you can't get higher than a 4.0. So, uh, I don't know. And then they move her up. Well, are you sure? I'd like, nah, come on. Just fucking, just say you want to stand in the fucking front. Just say you want to stand in the fucking front. Yes, I have more faith in you than I do myself. <laughs> well, I sort of had, like, a first impression that I was probably one of the lower ones. So, it was more of replacing them above me then June, you're in five APs. You're not you're not in the bottom two. You could have a 70 in all your AP classes and still be higher than a college prep kid with like a perfect score.
placing them below me. Yeah, because I feel like you three are definitely like yeah, top three. Because like yeah. NHS, <laughs> a bunch of AP classes. I don't know, like my grades drop over quarantine, so I don't know. Yeah, that, I mean, we have to take that over quarantine. Oh, they're doing cumulative GPA. Oh, shit. Why don't they bring back, why don't they bring up past history? Because I think it all said they're either juniors or seniors. Why don't they bring up past grades? Because, like, my freshman year in high school, I didn't try at all. Like, my GPA my freshman year in high school was, like, probably, like, a 3.2. And senior year, it was a 4. Junior and senior year is a 4.0. So, like, they should bring that up. All they're talking about is the current GPAs and current AP classes. But, like, just because she's in five APs or she's in five APs or, or he's in five APs, they could easily have gotten fucking all C's in fucking freshman year. I was doing good during quarantine, but when we came back... Didn't try and had a 3.2 try hard. I think most... I, it's not, I don't think that's a try hard. Me not trying and having a 3.2 doesn't mean I'm a try hard. If you want my honest opinion, I think high school is not entirely hard, especially if you're in college prep. I think it's procrastination. I think it's not doing the work. I think, a, and I realized that. If you, and this is my biggest advice on succeeding, not only just in life, but in school. If you start doing your shit, the second it's assigned and you incrementally study and you don't cram, you'll almost always get A's. Like, like I'm, no matter how genetically dumb you think you may are, like you're capable of getting all A's. It's, it's not, it's usually a procrastination issue. It's when you get assigned an essay three weeks in advance and you do it the night before, you're obviously going to get a worse grade. It doesn't mean you're dumb. It just means that you didn't fucking try. Like, you didn't try. And me saying I didn't try and I got a 3.2 means that I just procrastinated and then I fucking bullshitted half of my assignments. I still tried in some of them. But, like, that's what I mean. Like, not studying. Like, obviously, you're going to fail if you don't study. That doesn't mean you're stupid. That means you didn't fucking study. It was such a big... That's just how it is shift because we were online for so long yeah i, th I think uh, online lectures I, I just can't focus like i'd literally just like probably play video games in the background <laughs> yeah. i hope my teacher doesn't see this but <laughs> i'm the opposite like i focus so much better at home i was a horrible student during covid <laughs> my teachers would like email me like please just do this assignment. <laughs> quarantine happened and then i started my business and i just like my grades Dude, i don't even remember the second half of my senior year because of covid I would wake up and go on online class and play Fortnite. <laughs> like, I would have Zoom up. I would have Zoom up on my fucking, on like my phone or, or a fucking computer. And then I would just sit and play on my Xbox. Did you take Algebra 1 or Geometry freshman year? I took Honors Geometry. I skipped Algebra 1. I took Algebra 1 in 8th grade. I took Calc my senior year. My friends were telling me, like, so you're not smart? Like, well, what's wrong? I'm like, no, I am. It's just I'm not a school person. Like, I had more time to work on my business. And it just, like, changed my perspective all the way. Like, is, if, if this is going to be my life, like, I love it. Like, I'm going to just keep going with my business. Should we do, like, a, like, vote maybe? Bro like, owns a business. And, like, like, us, like, like, a raise of hands. Who thinks she's one? What? Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Dude, how do you own a business? Like, how does that even start? Okay. Did the Eddie hit? No. Dude, like, you realize I ate that shit, like, 30 minutes ago. Like, it's gonna take a while. Max, for the fucking 300 biddies. Uh, when is your next Sons of the Forest stream? Tomorrow. Uh, to oh, yeah, chat. I'm gonna be live. I'm gonna be live at 2 tomorrow. I'm not gonna be live early anymore. I'll be live at 2 p.m. EST tomorrow. Take another one? No. I'm not taking another fucking edible. Uh, we're not doing Police Sim tomorrow. We're doing Sons of the Forest again with Zussi. At 2 p.m. EST, Sunday's going to be Reacts, and then I'm playing Sons of the Forest again Wednesday. I'll do Minecraft Monday, though, obviously. But, um, yeah, no, Sons of the Forest next, since you asked, will be Saturday and then Wednesday.
Uh, that's normal time. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm not going live early anymore. I was going to go live at 1 tomorrow. I'm going live at 2, though. I'll see you for the 300 bits. Uh, getting A's is easy if you put yourself in the right mindset. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I had a 70 to pass, and I didn't study. Yeah. Uh, and Zake for the sub S, bro, who gave me this? Oh, my God, who gave me this? Who gave me this? It fucking, it doesn't show your username. I love you, Joe. You saved me and you deserve this. Bro, who is that? Who gave me that? I don't know who you are. Fuck. You have, when you send a Streamlabs donor, you have to put your user because Streamlabs is fucking glitched out. Oh my God. Who gave me the $100 dono, dude? Who gave me the $100 dono for, it was me? Seb, was it you? Seb, don't lie. Was it you? Seb, I swear to God, if it was you, thank you, dude. I'll trust that it was... I, I don't want... I Don't fuck with me, though. It was me for real. Bro, Seb. Seb. Okay, now everybody's saying me. I trust... I tr No, I lied again. Seb, are you fuck... Time out, Seb, for five minutes. Can, now you have to sit in time out, you fucking asshat. I... Yeah, Seb... I trusted that it was you. It was me. I don't think it was two inch either. Who the fuck gave me a hundred dollars? I whoever the fuck did it. That yo, everybody's saying it's me. Everybody's saying it's everybody's saying it's me, dude. I don't know who gave me that. It just says it says your dono ID because Streamlabs glitch. Whoever gave me the hundred dollar dono, thank you, genuinely. I'm glad that I, I you're saying I saved you. I mean, you probably saved yourself, but I I, I may have aided that. But I did not save you individually. But thank you for the $100 donut. Holy fuck. Lump for the 3 inch bits. Dude, I, like, I don't know who sent that. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Whoever sent me that, I, I, I'm genuinely thanking you. It was me, dumbass. 2 inch, was it actually you? Manifest for the 3 inch bits. Says Ratata. Lump for the 3 inch bits. I went through my whole uh, grade 12 year paying attention to class but not doing homework procrastinating. I barely graduated. See, procrastination is is the big issue with grades. Went back for another semester, grinded all my homework, started everything, got a 84% average. That's what I'm saying. JCW from Three Inch Bets. Uh, police Sim is great, and you should keep playing it. I will. I'm just not playing it tomorrow because um, I, I you realize I'm not done playing Police Sim. I'm just playing Sons of the Forest tomorrow because that's newer. Police Sim's an old game, uh, so I don't. There's no rush to play it. But Sons of the Forest, I want to keep playing it so I just know what happens. There's more suspense with Sons of the Forest, you know what I mean? So instead of doing that tomorrow, we're doing Sons of the Forest tomorrow. Uh, so we can finish the game uh, earlier. Uh, AJ for the 300 bits. Can, did you finish TWD? Yes, I did. I played that eight months ago too. General for the 300 bits. Junior in high school, I'm in IB classes different than AP. I currently rolled an IB diploma. I passed all my exams. Then I could go to college as a sophomore. Do I go through the pain of six hours of homework every night and pain of unfathomably homework, unfathomable work endlessly now until June 24, 2024? Do I enjoy high school like a normal person? Up to you. I'm not going to make your life decision for you. Again, I'm, 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 I'm trying to sway away from that. I know y'all look for me for advice or look to me for advice, but when it comes to life decisions, that is your fucking shit. I'm not going to make that decision for you. Uh, Kyle from 300 Bits. Just got done watching the Demon Slayer movie. Holy shit, it was mid. It's fuck. It was a uh, glorified rundown of the last season. I haven't even seen Demon Slayer, so I don't know. I think. <laughs> I think so. I'm probably. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, maybe. And whoever gave me the fucking hundred dollar down out, thank you. Okay. Do we think she's second? Yeah. She's second. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> I think you are or. Yeah. Okay. I think that. Yes. Yeah. Little switch. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. When did she work her way to the top? Into it. I hope she has. I hope she has the second lowest GPA. I hope. I hope he has the highest GPA. And then June, because they're shitting on June. They're all telling. They're all telling June. Oh yeah, no, I think you're fourth. Like what the fuck? So I, that doesn't make sense. But like band kids probably. Band kids are. Band kids, band kids are kids smart. Kids are intelligent. Intelligent. I don't think being a band kid means you're intelligent. I'm not. I'm not shitting on band. I'm not saying band kids are stupid. I'm just saying I, I don't think it leans one way or the other. I think being in band could means absolutely nothing. That That's just dumb logic to me. Being in band doesn't mean you're smart or stupid. I've seen band kids that have fucking 2.0 GPAs and band kids that have 5.0s. <laughs> Because you have to have some reading comprehension to be able to read notes. Yeah, that's, that's true. As a form reading comprehension? Are you saying that... 
Are you saying that there's high schoolers that are illiterate? Is that is that the logic that we're fucking leaning towards? That there's high schoolers that can't read? That, that, like what? We're a band kids. That's a good point. <laughs> okay. But I feel like you might surprise us. He's gonna surprise us. He yeah. is. Yeah. He's still like. Yeah. Did you take any honors? I took a couple. I kind of feel um, like you should go like up. I think we should switch. Yeah. I genuinely think we should switch. Mm -hmm. I think okay. you should switch with me. No. Rock paper scissors. Do you actually want to do rock paper scissors? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Rock, rock paper scissors. <laughs> it's not that funny. Is it, it? Like I'm not trying to be a dick right now, but fuck. Why are they laughing? Nothing's funny. They're rock, paper, scissors. Do you want to rock paper? It's not funny. You're rock, paper, scissoring to move positions. It's just guessing. Okay. <laughs> stay here. That's fun. It's called fun. You think that, you think rock, paper, scissors is a fun game? Rock, nobody plays rock, paper, scissors. You play rock, paper, scissors to make decisions and win bets. You don't fucking play rock, paper, scissors as an actual game. JCW from Three Gibbets. If on a pool over 90% of people want you to play Red Dead, can you? Uh, yeah, but that would never happen. Because everybody votes against Red Dead because Red Dead sucks. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm just saying it's a bad stream game. It's a good game. It's a terrible stream game. It's too much lull time. Nothing happens in that game. Love from Three Gibbets. Just ate a bowl of only red Skittles. I love Red Dye 40. Just ate a bowl of only red Skittles. I love red dye 40. You can't taste red dye 40. It's just there. Kyle from the 3-inch bits. Already read that. Lump for the 3-inch bits. Except for the 50. Says sorry Joe lol. I don't know why you believed me. Because my username always shows up on here. Bro I didn't know. It could have as easily been a glitch. I believed you because why would you lie? I don't fucking... I, you've gifted so many subs. I'm not mad at you. Yeah, thank you for the 50. You didn't need to give me a $50 dono. I just timed you out for five minutes as a joke. Max from the 3-inch bits says, have you watched JoJo? And Seb, thank you for the 50. I've not watched JoJo. JCW from the 3-inch bits. Uh, Squidward from the 3-inch bits. Stan and Mitch. Tyreno from the 3-inch bits. You should uh, play a drinking game uh, called Beerio Kart. It's Mario Kart, but you have to finish your beer before you cross the finish line. You should play Beerio Kart with Zeusy or JoJo. It's basically Mario Kart, but you have to finish your beer before you cross the finish line. Bro, every race? Every race? That's not. That's too bad. Maybe every four. A Mario Kart race takes, what, three minutes? What the fuck? You aren't going to get drunk. What do you mean? Every three minutes you drink a beer, you'd pass out after fucking six races. Shady for the three-inch bets. People are saying Andrew Tate got lung cancer. I mean, does he actually have it? Or are people just saying that? Your mom for the, th for the sub manifest for the three-inch bets. What for the three-inch bets? Average for the, the sub. The blonde girl pisses me off. Uh, even though I'm a junior in college, I'll wipe the floor with her. After I demolish her in academics, I'll inform her that my GPA is above average and her GPA don't mean jack shit. I don't think she's that annoying that you want to fight her. I think it's just kind of like a higher self-image. Oh, okay. Do yeah. you feel good about this? Except, yeah. thank you for the 50 again. Okay. 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 All right, let's All right. see it. First, we have June and Daniela tied with a 2.0. <laughs> Dude, 2.0, 2.0 weighted, a 2.0, no, I'm not even, like, the 2.0, her 2.0 is a 75%. I think that's what 2.0, 2.0 is a C minus or a 75%. That's not, that's not atrocious, right? But, like, if June's weighted GPA is a, is a 2.0, that means his unweighted GPA is like a, what, like a 1.3? 
like five APs 2.0 weighted, that's not good. How are they in five? Maybe if, oh, they did say they didn't try their freshman year and sophomore year. If that's what they were saying. So that might be that. They might have been failing classes freshman, sophomore year, got into AP, started doing those. But if you're failing classes, will your high school let you take another AP? Like if you're failing classes, would they let you register for an AP class? My high school wouldn't. You would have you would have apply to an AP. Average an XI for the sub. You would be allowed to take one. Bro, SL for the 50. Again, you didn't say your fucking username. I don't know who you are. Hey, Joe. You helped me through my dad in the hospital for six months while he lost his memory of me. Bro, I'm glad I could help you. I don't know who you are. I can't thank your username. Fuck. Dude, that's insane, and I'm sorry you had to go through that. I, 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 I don't know who you are, though. Unknown Twitch Twitchers just keep saying me. I don't I, I I'm not gonna believe any chatter saying it's me unless it was from the dono itself. But bro, thank you for the 50. I, I'm glad I could help you with that. And I'm sorry that you would go through that. Um and thank you for the 50. Jesus Christ. Six months my dad lost his memory of me. That's sad. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh but thank you for the 50. That is, that is genuinely insane that you had to go through that. I'm glad I could help. I'm assuming you, you're you referencing dementia or Alzheimer's. Um, and in which case, those are both terrifying things. Not only for the person to go through, but for the family to go through as well. Uh, and I'm sorry you had to go through that. Max for the bits. I remember when I ate an edible and the stairs were inside out. That makes no fucking sense. How are the stairs inside out? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have Jasmine. No, but I don't. Said, somebody said chat's giving I'm radio rebel. What? No, but also I'm not shitting on a 2.0 GPA. I was just shocked that a, somebody with five AP classes could have a 2.0 weighted. Just because I feel like you wouldn't be allowed to register for that class with a C average. Because that's a C. That's a C minus. Jasmine with a 3.8. Then we have David with a 4.04. .04. Uh, you didn't tag on the, the 4.04. Uh, that's a big point there. That's a big point there. 4.04. Remember? Uh, editor didn't remember to put that text in. Uh, all right. We have Joe with a 4.2. Oh, God. Oh, we got the order right. <laughs> if she has a 5.0, I'm going to be pissed. If she has a 5.0, I'm going to be so mad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Sienna with a 4.6. 4.0. This is me. This is me if I'm this is me if I'm June. Staring her dead in the eye. The sl you bravo. Bravo. Kudos to you. Yeah, I'm saying that shit. Yeah, nerd. Fucking nerd. No, I'm not saying that. No, but I don't like, I don't think a 2.0, like if you have a 2.0 GPA, you could easily get that back up. Like that's not a failing GPA. But like, I was shocked that June had a 2.0 on how they got to register for APs with the 2.0. Because my high school, does your high school require a certain, a certain GPA to be able to register for those chat? Like I had to literally ask, you had to get permission to take APs in mine. Like, your advisor had to let you do it. Just up for the 300 bits. What's your craziest edible story? Uh, one second. Nassau for the five. It's me, the boy Toxin. He had COVID and had a stroke, but remembered my sisters, but not me. Okay, well, the boy Toxin, thank you for the 50, and I'm sorry that you had to go through that. And it, that means it wasn't dementia or Alzheimer's. It was COVID and a stroke. It's me, I'm pro I promise he has COVID. Damn. I'm sorry you had to go through that. That's fucking awful. That's genuinely fucking awful. And thank you for the 50. Well, I'm glad that I know it's you now, the boy Toxin. W for that. Thank you. That, I'm glad I could congratulate, not congratulate, thank you for the fucking dono. Uh, what is, do y'all really want to hear my craziest edible story? Um, I'm trying to think. 
I've told you all about my first. The first time I took an edible and I thought I was in purgatory. Anybody remember that? Yeah, that was all that was all extravaganza. But just to give you a different story. Craziest edible story. All right, there was this one time that my um friend got the this container of of medical edibles. And it was 10, right? Because weed's legal in New Jersey, by the way. That's why I'm allowed to take it on stream and shit. But he got 10 edibles. And he was like, dude, these are weak as fuck. Like, let's split them. And I was like, no. <laughs> and I was like, no. <laughs> and so I took, I ended up taking, I think, two and a half or three. And it was only like, it was only like 35, 40 milligrams medical. But like, for some reason, like I've had like 50, 100 milligram, like Delta nine, not even Delta eight, like gas station uh, edibles before. And they haven't really done much. But like, for some reason, when I have like edibles from like med dispensaries, like those like kill me. And I ate two and a half, three, he ate five. And then we went on a bike ride. And <laughs> y'all don't even know what I'm about to talk about. Then we went on a bike ride. <laughs> and we're like about halfway through. We're about like halfway through. And his tire fucking pops. <laughs> and we're like... We're like a mile, two miles away. And he can't fucking, he can't fucking get back on the bike. And so, and so you're that high. It's not funny. Okay, well then leave. And feel like, fuck, like, I don't give a shit. But he's being a party pooper. Anyways, and it pops. And so like, he has to walk back. And when you're that high on an edible, like you don't really want to move. And, like, sitting on a bike pedaling isn't that big of a task. But, like, having to walk, like, two miles sucks. So we get back. And I have lay I end up sitting on the couch. And I'm, like, so uncomfortably high. Somebody just said, Joe, I'm 12. Ban them from my chat. You're a fucking idiot. Get out of my stream. You're too young to use Twitch. The fuck? And <laughs> You're too young. Leave. Leave. Breaking Twitch TOS. Ban their account. Anyways. Fuck. Um, as I was saying. Fuck. Ugh. I'm sitting there. We're watching a show. I just start macking food. And, um, I, this isn't that, I, like, this isn't that entertaining of a story. But, like, I end up just kind of sitting there freaking myself out. And at one point, I end up staring at my window for, like, probably a good 30 minutes and I convinced myself that there was a paranormal demon uh standing outside of my window <laughs> and like I couldn't move and I was just like fuck like I'm freaking the fuck out right now and I knew it wasn't actually happening but that's how it was but that like that wasn't that good of a story a better story is um one time and this actually has to do with uber eats one time I was at my friend's house and I think I might've told the story, but left out the, the edible part. Um, it was me and my eight friends and we ordered Denny's. We door dashed to Denny's at midnight because Denny's is open 24 hours. We order eight grand slams, chocolate, banana pancakes, and potatoes. Only the banana pancakes and the uh, potatoes show up. And I run out to the driver and I'm like, what the fuck? And he like, and it's this whole extravaganza. I've already told this part. And I haven't told the second part of this story. Uh, we all ordered the, that shit. Cause we were like having the munchies. And so I'm like sitting there like, bro, can you give me these fucking, uh, these Denny's grand slams? He's like, I don't have them. So I end up refunding them. And I, I end up getting so hungry. <laughs> oh, no. That I just start macking a popcorn macking like bags of popcorn and just chugging water to fill my stomach and then I just lay on the fucking floor and like almost pass out wake back up 
and then I'm chilling and I just drive home. But like edible stories aren't that interesting to me because you usually just get schlumped. Like better stories are like, oh fuck. I think I just broke my desk. I think I just broke. Okay, we're gonna leave that for now. Anyways, um, no, it was like, like edible stories aren't that interesting just because you you don't really like do much. You just kind of fucking chill. Like a better story would be I was at an Airbnb in the summer, uh, started freaking myself out, stared at myself in the mirror, and thought I was in a video game. You know, like when you're in a video game selection tab and like you're making your your character and they kind of move like this. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so like I'm staring at myself in the mirror and like I'm like, damn, like this is what it's like to be a video game character. And I just stood there for like for like an hour. For not an hour. It felt like an hour. It was probably like 20 minutes. Uh came back out. There's been a few there's been a few times I've greened out where I've gotten like really dizzy, middle of the woods. It was pretty bad. Anyways, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. We're gonna move on. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody said you're so high. I'm not. You'll see it in my eyes when, when it actually hits me. Tate has lung cancer confirmed? No. Does he really? They really oh Aiden Ross just tweeted. They really just confirmed Andrew Tate got lung cancer. Fuck cancer, praying for my brother. Free Tristan and Andrew Tate immediately. They are innocent. I was the one driving with him to the hospital from Dubai. I don't have any more specifics to share. He has lung cancer. Ooh. Do you think it's from the fact that he smokes so many cigars? Because how old is he? See, that's why I want to stop smoking weed, too. Just because it's carcinogens. I know, like, I know tobacco is, like, way worse, specifically cigars. But, like, damn, dude. Damn, dude. That's bad. And I mean, like, I I'll still rock with edibles because there's no carcinogens. But I really want to get out of, like, smoking joints. Because I know that's bad. Andrew Tate age. He's only 36 and he got lung cancer. Fuck. Oh, did y'all see Kaide got uh, AML? Kaide's 21, and I don't think she ever smoked or anything. I think she's 21. She got uh, acute something leukemia. Acute myeloid leukemia. Who is that? She's like um, like a famous Valorant streamer. Fucking ass. Jesus Christ. SL for the 50, the boy Toxin. Thank you for the $50 dono. Watch you for hours when I was in the hospital waiting for my seizure results. Bro, front toe for the sub. The boy, I'm glad that I could help entertain you. And I'm sorry you had to go through all that stuff. And thank you for the fucking 50, bro. Damn. HCAP for the fringe bits. What's up? After the first time I smoked, I went to swim practice and I kept forgetting to breathe. Forgetting to breathe. Running for the sub. 206 for the three. I'm running for ASB officer at my high school. Can you look at the camera and say vote for Caden? No. Amir for the fucking 300 bits. So many people try to, me to do, try to get me to do that. I don't want to promote you because I don't know what you stand for. You know what I mean? You're trying to get me to say vote for you. But, like, I don't know what you're even... You would have to tell me what you're standing for. First time sending bets. I smoke your streams every day. They're so funny and entertaining. Thank you, Amir, for the three-inch bet. He's mad for the three-inch bets. Uh, you made it to the front page of acorncounter.com. Acorn counter? What is acorn counter? Everybody's saying don't. He fell for it. What is acorn counter? 40 for the five. You braid my die. Thank you. Hilly for the sub. Just for the 450 bets. I ate five gummies before going on a plane. Yeah, what a terrible idea. But no, I don't have that many entertaining edible stories. Like... I mean, I've better, like, crazy, like, stories where I was, like, fucking, like, tripping out and shit like that. But, like, not, like, not, like, base edible stories, you kind of just sit there. 
It's like more interesting stories are when you're like hanging out with friends and stuff like that. Joe Acorn self promo. What is acorncounter.com? What is that? You fell for it. I fell for what? Lil Bo Peep for the fringe bits. You found me so much for a while. My, my mom has early onset Alzheimer's. You're awesome. Keep it up. Thank you. I'm sorry you're going through that. And your mom's going through that. Trashy for the fringe bits. Last time I smoked, I got so dizzy. I blacked out and I got up. Shit was whack. I'm scared to smoke again. Jiminy's for the fringe bits. I apologize. I just wanted your attention. I got scared when you read that my dono. I'm the one that said it's not funny. Oh, you're fine. What the fuck? I'm, I'm not mad about that. Anyways. Uh, next video, what to, uh, what not to do if somebody, uh, my God, I can't fucking read. Lock in. Maybe this edible is hitting. What not to do if you hit someone with your car? There we go. W. Joey knows how to read. Columbia County Dispatch received a 911 call reporting a bicyclist had been struck by a vehicle in Lodi, Wisconsin. The caller witnessed the incident and saw the striking vehicle flee the scene. They were able to provide deputies with a description of the vehicle and the direction they went. A side view mirror was also found under the bicyclist from the suspect's vehicle. Dude, people that hit and run are fucking losers. Like, I know you might not have the financial stability to pay for the damages that you may have caused, or you're worried about what might happen, but if you run over someone with your car or you hit someone's car, fucking pay for it. Like, yes, you might be in a bad scenario, but then making them deal with it and you just driving away, you're a fucking loser for that. Like, are you, like, if somebody did that to you, that would ruin your fucking month, ruin your year. And then you just do it to somebody, oh yeah, no. Moments Not that big of a deal. Oh, yeah, no, I, I just clipped the fuck out of their car in a parking lot. I'm just going to drive away. Like, no. And then you driving away, now you're going to get arrested. Later, a Lodi police officer located a vehicle they believed was involved in the crash and notified Columbia County deputies. The driver was identified as 43-year-old Marie Pinkston. Was she pulled over or driving? She was driving. I saw her. I, would, I checked the all-stop. I was going back. Yeah, I passed her. And I, I saw she didn't have a passenger near on a Mercedes. I'm like, oh, that's weird. And she did, the first thing she said was, I thought I hit a person, so. I'm being temporary. First thing she said was, I thought I hit a person, and you kept going? And you, you didn't pull over? You ran, you thought you ran someone over, and you were just like, nah, I'm just going to keep driving. I mean, if you're going to drive away from the cops, why would you even tell them that you thought you hit another person? You could say, I did. Now you just admitted to it. Now you just flat out said that you purposefully did a hit and run. You could have just been like, oh, I didn't know I clipped them with my car. I'm waiting to see what she looks like. How's this conversation going to go? Hi, Marie. Hi. you have your kids with you right now? Yes, I do. Can I talk to you out here? Why is she crying? <laughs> I Yo, I hate motherfuckers that do that to get out of tickets. I've seen, I've seen fucking other cop videos of this shit. You get pulled over for speeding. They're just already crying when you fucking pull up. Like, if I'm a cop and somebody's crying, I just would not give a fuck. Like, I'm, I'm just not giving a shit. I'm going to ticket you if you get a ticket. Yes. Or if you speed. I'd ticket you if you get a ticket. That makes no sense. Or no sense. Fuck. Ticket you if you need to get a ticket. You crying is in no way affecting whether or not you're getting one. Party for the sub JCW for the Fringe Bits. You missed my bit dono earlier. What was your bit dono earlier? I don't think I did miss your bit dono earlier. I might have, though. Hear me out. Play Red Dead Redemption 2. I didn't miss that. Play, wait, hear me out. Do 60 episode playthroughs of Red Dead Redemption on your YouTube channel. Yeah, that would do great. Red Dead Redemption, part one out of 60. Party for the sub, your mom for the 300 bets. Max for the 300 bets. My friend got hit by a car and his leg was broken. He managed to stand up and flip them off until he passed out. Fuck. Miso for the sub, Jimenez for the 300 bitties. Affirmative. 
Did you get a return on the plane? So tell me what happened, please. So I was leaving my house to pick my kids up from school. And I did hit something, I did, but I was going to be late to pick them up. I thought I hit a sign. I didn't know I hit a person. Where was this at? Right by my house. I thought I hit a sign, and I'm like, well, fuck, I just fucked my car up. Okay. Were you, when this happened, were you? I ran into a fence one time. I ran into a fence one time and a curb. I scratched the shit. Went back when I was uh, a junior in high school, I ran into a curb. And then one time I backed into a fence. Yeah, that was, those were two things that happened. I did not hit. Well, I didn't hit and run. Obviously, I didn't need to do anything when I hit a curb. But what I did not hit and run when I ran into a fence. Max for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs, Max the Pope. Appreciate that shit. Dub in the chat for that. Thank Max if you got a sub. And thank you for the 10 gifted, bro. On the road? Damn. Or... Yes, I was on the road. Yes. So I guess how, how would you hit a sign if you were on the road? Well, you know, you veer off a little bit. So I just came from Rockford, Illinois, because I picked my father-in-law up last night. Okay. So they... Mm-hmm. Don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Don't give a fuck. This has no, no relevance to the story here. I'm trick or treating. Okay. And I dropped him off. And I even got a speeding ticket because I was going fast. I was going fast because I didn't want to be late to pick them up. Oh my God, is the person okay? Uh, I, I don't know. It's kind of a very odd switch. You were just telling a story and then immediately started crying. Oh my God, is the person okay? Uh, <laughs> oh my God, is the person okay? Hold up, let me fake cry. Let me fake cry right now. Not fake cry cry, but like act sad. <laughs> oh my god, is she okay? I don't... I, is she okay? Uh, oh, I ran over her leg? Oh, I did... Oh, I decapitated her? Oh. Oh. You're telling me, you're telling me I ran over her skull and squashed like a melon? You're telling me the traffic light picked me up getting out of the car and looking at it and going, oh my God, and then getting back in? <laughs> you're telling me I'm going to jail? You're telling me, you're telling me I'm getting arrested for killing someone? I, I don't really? I really? But I was just late for picking my kids up. Oh, that right now. Um, <laughs> I didn't know. Wait, officer. So you're telling me there was a officer. So you're telling me there was a traffic stop light, or, or traffic stop camera that that picked me up running over, assessing that the fact that I killed them and then getting back in the car. Yes. So she's dead. Does that mean I'm in trouble? JCW for the five gifted subs. Thank you for the five gifted subs. JCW does switch sometimes. Appreciate that shit. Potentially not. He is Paul. Would she go to jail for that? It depends how much they'd be injured. I mean, a hit and run, you would probably get arrested, right? So, okay. Five, so you left five, your house on J, and you were going to I stopped. Eight. Okay, let's make a bet here. What are the odds she gets angry by the end of this? I'm going to say hi. I think that she's going to switch from... I think she's going to put this facade of being sad on until it doesn't work. And then she... And then he says, I'm going to have to arrest you and she's going to get angry. Home oh, after. It, she's just going to act sad until it doesn't work. Oh my God. This is a lot for me right now. I didn't mean to hurt anybody. Okay. So I came from Rockford... I even got a speeding ticket because I didn't want to be late that to pick them today. up. Yes, I got the ticket oh, in my car. Okay. And so I stopped at home and then got my car to pick them up. God damn, I don't need a play-by-play, -play, dumbass. Just tell me what the fuck happened. And I was driving down the road. I dropped my phone. I picked it up. I did hit something. I thought I hit a sign. Because I there was nobody. I didn't see nobody. I'm like, oh, fuck. I just hit something. I'll, 
And then you went to the schools, grabbed your kids? Yes. And then how'd you end up over here? So we were going to stop at the gas station. Okay. I forgot they had all the candy from Chuck Street. So I'm like, well, let's go to the gas station. They're like, stop there. And then they said, oh, you know, we don't need candy. We have all... I'm like, okay, fine. Let's go home then. Okay. So... A child denied candy? You as a mother, all, see, now that's the most faulty point in this whole damn story. Not, not you saying you thought you hit a sign. The reason I think you're lying is because you offered to buy your kids candy and they said we already have enough. In what world would I ever as a kid say, oh, I have enough Halloween candy? I would still say, okay, yeah, I'm going to buy me some, myself some Sally Patch Kids. I'm going to get myself some of that select good shit that you don't get in fucking Halloween candy. So you thought you had a sign. Well, why didn't you stop to check, though? Because I was going to be late to pick my kids up. Okay. Who I gives a fuck if you're late to pick your kids up? Never been late to pick my kids up. Oh, bro, he got that Home Depot. He got that dad ring. And that's why I told the officer that pulled me over. Was that her? Hello? Oh, she got that dad ring. She got that Home Depot shit. I just... Man, 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 man. A person. I just want my... Hello? Hello? Yeah? Yeah. No, how are you doing? Oh, and then she says, I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> I I just ran over a human being. I just see a person. I just want my kids to go somewhere if I'm going to jail. Yeah, we, yeah if somebody can come get the kids, that would be good. Damn! <laughs> Fuck. Nah, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, being one of the kids probably sucks right now. Now I feel bad. Now I feel bad for the kids. Jail. We got to talk about a bunch of things and figure a few things out. I just she's, probably not, she's probably getting detained and going in for questioning. Because it's not like there could be a scenario where you didn't realize that you hit someone. Person Sam. Maria is your first name, correct? Yes. What Will is you your... please make sure the guy's okay or the person that I hit? 3, 3, 20, 10, 20, what is please. your telephone? What is your last name? Pink. What was her last name? Pink. Yeah. Pink. Pink spelled how? Pink as in that ushy gushy pink. That was a shitty joke. I literally heard that. I was contemplated. I immediately knew. See, that's how I know I'm high. Because that was a shitty joke and I still said it. And that was that was not that was not I, funny. The ambulance. Did you yeah, see that? I know I'm high now. That was not funny. That was not funny. Let's go by. No. Yeah, that was a bad joke. That was a bad joke. I'll take that out. Just a few minutes ago, they're taking him to the hospital. I so didn't I, see nothing. I don't, yeah, I don't. I don't know right now. Oh my What's god. Your phone number, Murray? W for admitting. Well, dude, I like that's how I know. Like, if I'm making a joke on stream or some shit, and I'm like not high, like I'll be like, okay, yeah, that was a shitty joke. I'm not gonna make that joke. But like, there's like no buffer. So now I just said the joke, and it was shitty. Is there any way you can find out if the person? I think it was funny. I appreciate that. However, I don't think it was funny. Okay. Um, so <laughs> the skin of a goose. When did I say that? When did I say? Does anybody have that clip? When I made the skin of a ju the skin of a goose joke. That was the worst joke I've ever made on stream. It made no sense. It made actually no sense. I was saying my skin is as soft as a goose or so. I said some shit. It was so fucking stupid. Somebody redeemed Jack. Dude, I forgot I fucking said that. Oh, you literally have the clip? No way. How old are you? Oh, I here it am. is. How old are you? Wait, hold on. I am 26. Probably when you look at me, though, you're probably gonna be like, no. How old are you? I am 26. Probably when you look at me, though, you're probably gonna be like, no. I'm younger than that. Younger? So. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm 26. You know, like, some people just say I have the skin of a goose. That means... <laughs> Yo, see, that, like, you see how I immediately wreck it? It's like I don't recognize that it was a shitty joke until, like, I say it. And then I'm like, this makes no fucking sense. I think they're doing okay. They were, they were okay? going to the ambulance, okay? Yep. <laughs> While speaking with Marie, the deputy detective... Yo, why is there this red spot on my head? Did I hit myself, chat, at any point? I started stream without that red spot. Now it's agitating me. Max! Stop gifting subs. Max, 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 Max.
that for the fucking 50 gifteds, dude. What the fuck? Bro, hit me with the 50 gifted subs. God damn. Max, thank you for the fucking subs, dude. Thank them if you got a sub and thank you for the fucking 50 gifteds. Bro's already gifted like 160 subs today or some shit. What the fuck, Max? You don't need to gift any more subs, bro. You've gifted so many. Thank you for the fucking 50 gifteds. God damn. Max from the 300 bits as well. Why is she trying to act like the victim? And Zally from the 300 bits says, Joe, 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 Joe. Max, thank you for the 50 gifteds, bro. Genuinely. That is actually insane. My God. It's an odor of intoxicants coming from her person. Ambulance, okay. Yep. While speaking with Marie, the deputy detected an odor of intoxicants coming from her person. So today you came back from Rockford with your yes. father-in-law? Yes. And you were running a little late, so you got pulled over. I was over. running late. I got pulled over. I got a ticket. And so I stopped at home to let my dog out. And then I was leaving to go pick the kids up. And I hit something. Did you stop at the pub beforehand, get a little few brewskis? Maybe a couple nose beers? Maybe a couple nose beers in the bathroom before you left? You know, I thought it was a road sign. 3534, You thought a person was a road sign? My God, are you fucking tripping on mushrooms or some shit? In what world would you think a person is a road sign? Um, how much alcohol have you had today? None. None at all? No. Okay, as I'm talking to you, I'm smelling something. That I drank like some last night. Okay, how much did you have last night? Last night, what did you not eat? Oh, I don't know. We were trick or treating. I was drinking. I got pretty drunk okay. last night. Were you but... down in Rockford for that, or up here? No, up here. In you wouldn't have if she said she drank last night, and it's like probably like two p.m. next day. Would you still have alcohol in your system? I I think you would test zero on blood alcohol level. Because at that point, it would be gone. If anything, it would be like like point oh oh one. By the school. When is the last time you had a drink? 40, Maybe. 34, 35, 34. 6 o'clock last night? 6 p.m. And so you got pretty drunk. How much do you think you had to drink? Oh, I didn't around? get pretty drunk. That's what you just said. I got drunk. Yeah, I didn't get pretty drunk. Okay. I mean. Okay. And you've had. I was drinking. I got pretty drunk okay. last night. That's word for word what she fucking... No, I didn't say that. That's exactly what you said. It's not even like you said something similar. That's like exactly what you said. Santa for the five gifted. Step for that as well. Bro, and Max the Pope, bro. Again, I know I'm not screaming as much as I normally can, but thank you for the 50 gifteds, dude. And Phantom Frost 69, thank you for the five gifteds. Manifest for the 600 biddies. She in big trouble now? Do you think they're gonna... Do you think they're gonna give her a test? And get pretty drunk, I mean. Breathalyzer? And you've had no alcohol today? No. Do you do any... No. Other... No. I do drink my Listerine in the morning, though. A lot of people tell me not to gargle it. But no. Other than, like, maybe half a bottle of Listerine. It's like, no. Recreational drugs, marijuana... No, I just like drove that. four hours. The reason I ask is as I'm talking to you, I can smell I'm something sorry. that smells like alcohol coming I did. From your I had a meeting with my kid's school this morning at 8.15, and then I had to rush from there to pick my father-in-law up in Wanakee. I thought you picked him up in Rockford. No, I picked him up last night in Rockford. Okay. And I brought him here for for trick-or-treating. He stayed the night. Okay. So then I got, I had got up, and he had a meeting with all his IEP teachers. And then I left there. I went to Wanakee to pick up my father-in-law. My husband took him to work with them. So I picked him up and we went to Rockford. Yo, she's like changing her story like 30. And are you guys lost? Like, I feel like, I feel like she's talking like I am right now. Like she's gotta be fried or some shit. She's making no sense. She just said she got pretty drunk last night, then said she didn't. Then said she didn't have a drink today, then started to say that she actually did have a drink today, but then repeatedly just told the story about Rockford with her dad for the fucking 15th time. 
Like, what? Just a stranger for the fucking 2,000 biddies. Isaac for the 340 bets. From Thailand to Singapore, I had two eddies in a bag that I forgot about. Had to eat them and was so paranoid because of an article about executions in Singapore regarding weed. Well, yeah, if they found the weed on you, that would have been pretty bad. Captain for the sub manifest for the 1,500 biddies. My power just went out and turned back on. Huge winter storm over here right now. About to turn into Bear grills. Bro, I wish it would snow here. I You missed my subs? Sleepy, you gave me subs? If you gave me a sub, thank you for the fucking sub, bro. I don't see any, though. Um, I wish it would snow. Dude, it's not snowing in, like, most state, uh, states this year. You went to Rockford also? Yes. So you went yesterday and today? Yes. So you dropped him off in Rockford? or? Yes. Okay. He lives in Rockford. Okay. Yo, why is she so damn sweaty, though? I'm just like, I'm making it like, like why? Like her face is like wet. So like it's wet. How much alcohol did you have today? None. Okay, could you just, you, you're kind of confused. She's lying. I don't think she's sweating in her face because she's lying. You're me with your story because it's, it's I drank last night at trick or treat. So I went and picked my father-in-law up. Bro, they're going to give her, she... She almost admitted to having a drink, but then she knew that if she said she had a drink, they would have to give her a breathalyzer. So she's holding on to this last hope that if she just says she didn't drink today, they wouldn't give her a breathalyzer because she's pissed drunk right now. Last night, I drove four hours to pick him up. I brought him here. He stayed the night. He lives two hours away. So oh my God, you've told the story 15 fucking times, lady. I don't want to hear it one more fucking time. Four hour trip. I'm getting mad. I'm getting fucking agitated. I got to post on TikTok chat. One or two. Getting a lot of ones here today. Posting. 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 All right, dub it posted. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? The three top comments on my most recent video are all porn bots. Wow. How lovely TikTok is that they can't control the fact that people just bought fucking porn shit into these goddamn videos all the goddamn time. Wow. It's like half the comments. Do y'all see that shit? Is it just me? Is it just my videos or do y'all see that? Like all the time. Like all the time. It's just every other fucking comment. Is a goddamn bot. Like, it's so annoying. All right. Let's continue. Phantom for the sub. Eric Close for the sub. Shark for the fringe bets. I need help. I need help growing my chest hair. Any tips? Nope. So I picked him up. I brought him here. He stayed the night. We went trick or treating. We had a couple drinks last night, a few drinks. Okay. Me more than them, but Yeah, you know, I was pretty fucking hammered last night, officer. I'm not gonna fucking lie to you, man. Like I crushed a twenty four pack of Miller. No problem, officer. Like literally like like from like I, I was probably drinking from like six PM to like maybe six AM. Like I was having a couple brewskis with my boys about six hours ago. Maybe four actually, maybe four hours ago. You know, I had I had a couple road sodies on the way too, officer. I'm not gonna cap. Uh, there's a few, there's, uh, there's another case in the back of the car. I'm not gonna lie. There's another case in the back of the car, officer. I may or may not have a half a bottle of fucking whiskey sitting in the glove compartment right now. Uh, it's some pretty good shit. You know, you take a couple swigs, maybe not give me a breathalyzer. And I woke up, I had a meeting with his teachers, his IEP teachers at 8.15. Wow, going to a school meeting drunk? Yikes. So when I left there, it was like 10 o'clock. Then I had to go to Wanakee because my husband took his father to work with him. He couldn't take him home, so I took him home. Bro, I'm about to fast forward to her getting fucking breathalyzer. Oh, wait, no, they're going to the car. That was four hours. I got pulled over. I have the ticket in my car. What time was it? I just hit a human being. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna let you go, okay? 
I'm probably going to jail. Is someone gonna bail me out of jail? Oh, she's like slurring her words and shit. Okay. I just hit. Okay. I know this is serious. I told you I hit a sign, but I hit a person. Serious. I hurt somebody. Okay. Dude, I feel so bad for the kids. She knows she knows she's gonna get drug tested or some shit, bro. So Marie, the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that you're not impaired. Because I smell something coming from your breath, so I'm okay. a sobriety test. Okay. So what I'll ask you to do is just leave your phone in the car. One second, officer. Goes into the cornfield, throws up, starts starts chugging a gallon of water. <laughs> Give me one moment, officer. He goes and fucking throws up everything. Fucking starts to start fucking throw, throwing spray in her mouth and shit to try and like deter it. Down to fuck. For now, we're going to walk back here and we're going to do some field sobriety tests. We'll or she says, oh, wait, no, hold up, officer. She chugs a bottle of whiskey and then blames the failing the sobriety test on the fact that she just drank. Okay. Just, just leave your phone in the car so it's not continuously ringing and distracting. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm not leaving my kids. What do you mean? Officer, uh, I have a fat doobie that's burning in the car. Do you mind if I put that out real quick? Um, officer, I have a big doink rolled in the middle of my... <laughs> I have, like, when I tell you, like, a Pringles can thick fat one, just sitting right sitting right in the glove compartment, it's burning. Um, probably still. The end's, like, red hot. I was cheaping the shit out of it. You mind if I put that out real quick? I gotta be able to just... Here. Yep, we're gonna I, actually, actually, um, if you are going to arrest me, may I finish this fat doink beforehand? <laughs> we're just gonna be right up here in front of this other car. The video got taken down. Are you dead ass? Bro. Wait, no, it didn't. Did it? I don't think it got taken down. It did? Bro, I'm going to repost it. it. It wasn't taken down. It was probably glitched. All right. Bro, Max for the 10 gifted. Uh. Expathic for the sub. Clowning for the sub. And bro, Max, thank you for the 10 gifted subs again. Phantom for the 1,000 bitties. Crunchy for the range of bets. Driving, drunks with, driving drunk with kids in the car is diabolical. Yeah. Like, I don't, dude, I don't know as a parent. Like, she probably realizes that she has that issue, but then, like, you're you're putting that issue on your kids. Like, she could have gotten in a car crash and killed her kids. Money for the sub, romper for the 300 bets. I really enjoy watching your streams, even when you go live at 5, it's 5 a.m. A-E-S-T. What is A-E-S-T? What fucking time zone is that? And Max for the fucking uh, 10 gifteds, bro. Thank you. Genuinely. Alright, let me call my husband real quick. Okay, hang on. Max from the 300, but he says, alright, I think I'm done with the gifteds. Bro, you didn't need to gift that many to begin with. I'm thankful for the fact that you gifted that many subs, but god damn, you can watch for free. Second. So, Marie. What? Why do you need to call your husband? Because he told me to no longer have contact. He said get a lawyer. Okay. You need so... to do field sobriety testing. That does not require a lawyer. Okay, I need you to perform those tests. Somebody said my husband was hit with a car and nearly died, and the guy was intoxicated and only 19. What the fuck? That's going to allow me to evaluate whether you're actually impaired or not, or if it's just a stale odor from last night's drinking. Okay. Okay. All right. No, I don't know if this is correct. Okay, well, here, here we are. Let's, let's go to the front of that truck. Let's talk there. Wait, is she denying? Are you allowed to deny a sobriety test? Why do you need to call your husband? Because he told me part? to no longer have contact. He said, get a lawyer. Okay. You need so, to do field sobriety testing. That does not require a lawyer. I don't think you can. You can deny one if, you, but like, I don't think, I think he has, I think he has suspicion to 
have to test her. I uh, yeah, you you can, but you just go to jail. You will go to jail for a DUI if you don't do it. Yeah, you can't just say no, I'm not going to take one. Especially if you hit somebody and then drove away. Max for the three jibbities. Uh I said my favorite creator, if you bless others around you, the blessing will come and will bless everybody. Bro, dub. Thank you for the fucking three jibbities, Max, bro. So nice. You have the right to refuse a field sobriety test if a police officer asks you to perform this test. It's in your best interest to politely refuse. They can't arrest you just for ref refusing to do a field sobriety test. Okay, I need you to perform those tests. That's going to allow me to evaluate whether you're actually impaired. I don't think you can just drive away. Can you deny... Wh wait, wait. What happens... If you deny a breathalyzer, immediately comes up. If a court finds you guilty of refusing to submit to chemical tests of your breath, then your license to operate a motor vehicle will be revoked by the court of a period no less than several months and no more than 20 years. So you'll get your license taken away. But you're allowed to refuse it. Sharp for the five of your bets. Ice hockey is a top 300 sport. Oh, and you're cool. Well, that's the same thing at that point. She's going to... If she gets a DUI, her license is gone. If she doesn't get a DUI, her license is fucking gone. Um, and Max, for the three inch minis, again, I used to play ice hockey. You need the endurance of God to do that shit. Yeah. Or if it's just a stale odor from last night's drinking. Okay. Okay. All right. No, I don't know if this is correct. Okay, well, here, here we are. Let's, let's go to the front of that truck. Let's talk there. We already covered. You drank last night. Mm-hmm. You haven't had anything Yo, today. bro, she could... How long do you think she'd have to stall for her not to be drunk anymore? Like three, four hours? Like three, four hours? She just keeps retelling the story. She keeps... She keeps retelling the fucking... Well, you see, I, I went and picked up my pa back in Renokin or whatever the fuck that dumbass city name was. And then I drove back and right. Well, then I well actually now let me start from the beginning again. I picked up my pa last night. We had a few brewskis uh, last night. I not that many. I but um, fucking just keep didn't going. Didn't take any. My kids were late to school, or I was late to no 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 no. I, my kids weren't late to school. I dropped them off on time. I I was late on picking them up. Legal drugs. Um, do you? Wait, does she medically. even have a country accent? Was I just giving her a country accent when she doesn't have one? Because the conditions affect your walking, balance, coordination, No, you eyesight. can see me walking right now. Oh, she doesn't have a country accent. Why did I do that? Questions I have to ask. Okay. Have you ever done it? It's field? kind of. It's like in between. It's like you can't really tell. Have you already testing before? No. So what we're going to do is there's a, a, a few tests we're going to do that allows me to evaluate your physical ability. Oh, wait. They're not doing, they're not doing a breathalyzer. They're doing a field sobriety test. I don't think she can deny that. A field sobriety test is like walking on the line, saying your ABCs. Yeah, like that. Can you deny a field sobriety test? I don't know if you can. You might be able to. You can politely refuse to take one, not to aggravate the officers and give them a reason to arrest you. They're still going to arrest her because she fucking hit and run. So she, it's in her best interest to not deny this. So because of the light, what I'm going to have you do is just stand right here where it's flat. Nah, she got this. I got faith, bro. You clutch this. You clutch these up. You're only eight millers deep. You clutch these. You got that. You got that straight line walk. No problem. Z, Y, B, X. Q, C, C, A, fuck. Uh. Take one step over. So we're on the front. Okay. What I'd like you to do, stand with your arms together. Or, sorry, your feet together and your arms down at your sides. Do you see the tip of my finger? Yes. Okay. I'm going to move my finger back and forth a bunch of times. I want you to follow with your eyes all over. I'll go lay it in. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. she's, she's using every power in her mind right now to focus on that finger. She is she is calling upon her ancestor's DNA to give her the power to focus on that finger in this very moment right now. I don't know what I don't know what country she may be from. She's she's channeling all that power though. Whether it be German, British, whatever. She's channeling her ancestor, her Nordic ancestors 
to give her the capability to focus on this individual finger and not be delayed. I'll keep your head straight. I'm your head. She can't not keep her head straight. Jesus Christ. Dude, I feel like if I was drunk, I would be able to do this. She keeps fucking moving her head. Nah, he's going to give her the breathalyzer. Bro, it's broad daylight, too. Oh, keep your head straight, sorry. My contacts are yeah, if, you have, if you have to blink, that's fine. Now we're contacting okay. so I understand. Doesn't it like immediately just say that you're drunk if you fail to take or if you refuse to take a sobriety test? Like if you refuse a breathalyzer, yes, that's in that's within your own rights. But then you're just actively admitting to having no, it doesn't. What do you just hate? Then you're just you just seem guilty. Can you just take this breathalyzer? No. Like if you if you know you're not drunk then why wouldn't you take it? Because you just don't want the, you don't want the government to not put that power restraints on you. Like, no, like you would just take the, I would just take the fucking test. I would say, okay, officer, yes. Let me blow into this fucking thing. Because it's extra work? No, it's extra work to have an argument to deny it. If you just say, yeah, and you fucking blow into it. Max for the 400 biddies. Zach for the sub goal for the 300 bits. Been watching through the VODs. It's hard to catch stream because in the UK, but stream start at 9.30. Uh, well, I'm glad you could catch stream today, and I'm sorry that I start late for you. But in the summer and the weekends, I will stream earlier for you. The Cock for the sub, Sharp for the 300 bets, uh, and Jay Garrett for the sub. Well, it's easier when the truck's there. You turned your head on that one, so I'm going to do that one again. Yo, I got to piss so bad. I got to piss so bad. You guys got to count me down. I know we're stopping mid-vid. I don't give a fuck. I got to go pee. God damn. Hold up. Tell me now, 30 seconds. Onwards. Bro, Max, did you gift more subs, dude? Max, thank you for the five gifteds, bro. You said you were done gifting subs. Try to keep your head real still. You're still moving a little bit. We're in the middle of the road. They're behind us to make sure we don't get ahead. There's a poll going on saying, is it suspicious asking for a lawyer when being questioned? I wouldn't say that's suspicious because they could just try to get you to say shit that's bad. But... I think saying you want to not take a sobriety test is suspicious. Saying you don't want a lawyer, that could be over a multiple multitude of things. You want a lawyer to know what you're allowed to say and not say. Jake for the sub, sincere for the sub. So in that same position, what I'm going to have you do, and don't do anything until I tell you to begin, I'm going to ask you to tip your head back and close your eyes. When you... No, not, don't do that yet. Fucking eat shit. It would be way better. It would be way... This is how it would actually happen. Just like an actual fall. 
just fucking just fucking absolutely just eats shit hits her head on the back of the fucking cop car oh god when I say begin in that same position with your arms at your sides, head tip back, eyes closed, I want you to keep your eyes closed and your head tip back after I say start for 30 seconds. Some of the sobriety, the field sobriety tests they do, though, are almost impossible. You like there's ones where you're supposed to stand on one leg with your hand on your finger or your, not your hand on your finger, your finger on your nose with your arm out and say your ABCs backwards. Most people can't do that sober. Most people cannot do that sober, let alone being pissed drunk. Like, so, yes, it's it's an indication that you're drunk, but it could also just mean that you can't do it. Like, Max for the 300 bitties, now I'm actually done. Dub, rubric for the sub. Okay. When you think 30 seconds is... Horse for the sub. Fast, I want you to say stop. Would she what? Back after I say start for 30... Again, in that same position with your arms at your sides, head to back, eyes closed. I want you to... Keep your eyes closed and your head tip back after I say start for 30 seconds. Okay. When you think 30 seconds has passed, I want you to say stop. Oh, her ability to know time. We got to remember where it starts. Understand? Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions with that? No. I can count to 30. Just don't count out loud. That's all I ask. Okay. All right. Go ahead and tip your head back and close your eyes and start. 143. Or 11.43 is where it started. Oh, she's about to say stop okay. and fight. Stop. Okay. And how long was that? Cut. 30 seconds. And how did you get to that? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. So I got it another way? No, nope, that's just, I just want to know how you did it. So the same thing. Just put your feet together. Keep your arms at your sides. I'm going to have you follow. Oh, just give her a breathalyzer dick bag. Oh, my God. I'm starting to get annoyed, dude. My God. Next time, next thing, we're about to give her a fucking test. You're about to pull out a fucking third grade math book and fucking flip to a random page. All right, what I'm going to need to do you, what I'm going to need right now is I'm going to give you a five minute timer here and you're going to solve as many math problems on this as you fucking can. Like, okay, I, next you're going to tell her to fucking start reading the dictionary to you and shit. Buddy, just fucking give her a goddamn test. Start to piss me off. My finger again. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my finger in two circles. All around. right, right now I'm going to pull out this. Yeah, right. somebody said, are you smarter than a fifth grader? All right, right now I'm going to pull out this tablet here. What this is is actually a base heyday account. I'm going to need you to grind to level 30 as fast as you possibly can without gemming. I'm going to need you to play Clash of Clans. You're going to have to do a war attack here. Uh, this is going to be a Town Hall 8 setup. You're going to need to tell me the general strategy that you think you're going to do. I'm also going to need to see uh, whether or not you've, trans uh, you've had too many gem transactions in the past few years around your face and I'm going to move my finger towards your nose. I'm not going to touch your nose. Though. Okay. Just the evidence here is saying that you're a gemmer. It seems like you uh, have not only bought in the season pass like you recently said. Uh, right here I'm seeing 10 different $100 transactions for 14,000 gems. What did you use those on? Her phone starts ringing. Mid-conversation. Tammy, I hit a person. Ends call. All right. All right. All right. I, I gemmed my golem to level seven. Follow my finger with your eyes as it moves closer to your face. Okay. Do you understand? Yep. Follow your finger. Yep, follow my finger, yep. and then I'm not going to touch your face. Okay. So don't worry about that. Joe is making no sense right now. I think I make perfect sense. I think that if you play Clash of Clans, you understood every single damn thing that I just fucking said. I think that you don't play Clash of Clans. I think Clash of Clans users know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. I'll try to keep, try to keep your head still. You can't say that. Or she keeps moving her fucking head. He goes like this. Fucking touches her nose. She just vomits. Just fucking every... Sorry. Sorry, my contacts made me dizzy. So from the position you're in, oh, just stay right where you're at, sorry. Take one more step to your left, just so it's the flatter part of the road. They'll make sure nobody gets close. So what I'd like you to do from where you're standing, straight down the roadway, imagine that there's a straight line. Why do you keep mentioning vomit? I mentioned vomit twice. I mentioned vomit, bro, I mentioned vomit two times in the entirety of this video. I mentioned it initially when I said she was going to throw up to not be drunk, and then I mentioned her throwing up because she was too drunk. Do that. 
It was more than twice. No, it was not. Those were, I might have said vomit multiple times. Those were the two times I referenced it. Nope. Just stay where you're at. Take your left foot, place it on that line that you're imagining. Place your right foot directly in front of it, heel to toe. Keep your arms at your sides and stand in that position while I explain this test. Do not begin until I ask you to do to start, okay. okay? Go ahead and put your feet in this position, right in front of left. Right foot in front of left, please. Oh, God, left she's first. in the right from left. So stay in that position. Don't start until I ask you to begin. So from this position, I'm going to ask you to take nine heel to toe steps forward on that imaginary straight line. Turn around how I show you. Take nine heel to toe steps back. So I don't walk Ooh, into traffic. Backwards? Dude, I don't think I can do that backwards. Heel to toe steps backwards? Fuck. Oh, no, I could. Yeah, now we're good. Now we're good. That's definitely harder, though. Forward's not hard at all. Backwards, I would be struggling a little bit. Max for the 1,000 biddies and the 300 biddies as well. Voids for the sub, horse for the sub, rubric for the sub. I'm going to take three steps to demonstrate. So from the starting position, your first step is one, two, three, and so on until you reach nine steps. When you reach that ninth step, leave your front, front foot on the ground. Take a series of small steps until you're facing the other way and continue one, two, three, walking heel to toe on that straight line. When you do this, you're going to look at your feet, count your steps out loud, keep your arms Dude, I feel like this is more so just an entertainment for the officer. Because, like, you don't even need to do this. You could just fucking give them a breathalyzer. Somebody said, uh, stop pausing it. Uh, time them out for the rest of the day. Hold up. Uh, here's the video. You could go watch it yourself. Your sides. Do not stop walking until you completed the test. Take nine heel to toe steps forward. Turn around how I showed you and take nine heel to toe steps back. Do you understand the instructions? Uh, I think so. Okay. Do you have any questions? Okay. Go Question ahead and I begin. Think so. You just take One, nine steps forward. I got you. Two. No! <laughs> but he fell on the first step. Okay. Go ahead and begin. Bro, she made it one Five. step. Two. This is like an incline. Can I go this way? Well, that's going to put us in the middle of the road. I know, but it's like. Okay, let's let's can step. Can you do it? Let's step right, step right here and start there. One, two, three. Oh, she actually four, is doing better. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then. Is that like? Oh, you're a fucking idiot! No. Uh, is this what I do, officer? No. You fucking... He explained it four goddamn times. Walk backwards. You fucking dumbass. Is this right? Uh, is this what I'm supposed to do? No, you fucking idiot. You told me you understood what the fuck I was saying. Just turn around how I showed you. I'm wrong? I'm wrong? He actually wanted her to turn around? Why? It would be way better of a test to fucking make her walk backwards. I'm the wrong one. I don't know why I'm going in the comments like they're going to talk about that shit. All right, I'm wrong. All right, all right. Give me a fucking break, chat. Damn. My God, everybody's on my shit right now. I'm trying for the sub. I'm blaming the edible. Yep, that's a good choice. Blame the edible. Not my fault. Yo, somebody time VZ underscore IL. Uh, I've seen your message. You've typed that like 30 times. Go ahead and step back up here. They'll make, they'll make sure we don't get hit. Oh, you say that? They're watching. You say that? They're well, watching. why are we here? So the next thing I'm going to have you do, and don't start until I tell you to begin. Just stand with your feet together and your arms at your sides. When I tell you to begin, what I would like you to do is raise one foot, whichever one you're more comfortable with, about six inches off the ground. Wait till you say? Yep, wait till I say to begin. Raise your foot about six inches off the ground, point your toe, keep your legs straight, keep your arms at your sides, and look at your foot, and count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on. Okay. Continue doing that until I tell you to stop. Yo, if he doesn't end up arresting her for a DUI after this, and she just gets to drive home, I'm going to be actually mega pissed. Okay. Okay. Yep, if you want to face that way, that's fine. Uh, I'm going downhill. Arms going downhill. Sides. I'm not comfortable with this. Go ahead and begin. Count out loud, please. Look at your foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Officer, you know I have, officer, I have a bad knee. <laughs> officer, I played, okay, well, I played volleyball when I was, when I was in high school, and I used to be, I used to be, like, one of the front people, right? Like, one of the people that would spike. And, like, one day, I, like, I, like, fell down wrong. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do any of these tasks. Keep going. Keep going? Yep. Um, it's... My God, just give her a fucking test. I'm fast forwarding. I'm, I'm getting mad. I'm not doing that until I talk to my husband. Oh, there we go. There we go. Fuck. My God, been waiting the whole goddamn episode for this shit. Okay. Why, why do you want to talk to us? Well, he's like... Not so clean on Why do you want to talk to your husband? I don't know. Maybe because I'm fucking pissed drunk right now. Maybe say that. I don't know, officer. Maybe because if I blow into that little doohickey you got there, I'm going to go to prison. Maybe that's why I don't want to fucking blow into the goddamn thingy. Okay, why is that? So, I'm I've just, done everything you're asking me to do. Are you, are you willing to take a PPT? Or yes, if he tells me I can. Okay, well, you're an adult. You're I am an adult. Three decisions. Yep, you're so right. I'd like you to just let me know yes or no now. If you're willing to do that. If you let me talk to him, I'll let you know. Well, I'm not going to delay things. Officer, you could test me in about, you know, maybe three, four hours after I get a sufficient amount of water in my system. Is that okay? Is that okay if you wait for me to maybe eat an entire pizza so I can lower my blood alcohol level to soak up the alcohol? Maybe chug a few gallons of water and then take the test? Is that is that acceptable to you? See, this is why. Why can't you let me talk to him and ask because him? Because you're an adult. I am an adult. Okay. okay. I'll take, I'll take Are you playing a police sim with Zeusy? Not tomorrow. Tomorrow, Sons of the Forest. Uh, but maybe one day, yeah. All I'm asking is let me talk to my husband. Okay. I need you to face my truck, please. Place your hands behind your back. I do believe you are impaired right now. So you're being placed under arrest for operating while intoxicating, causing injury. Okay. And operating while intoxicated with your children in the car. Right. I passed all your time. And, and it hit me well. This is why you don't like police. Because we're doing our job. Because we're doing our job and uh, preventing you from running over more people when you're fucking drunk. No, Mine you're is, not. You see his kids in the car? Yeah, they're still in the car. Hit somebody. They're seriously injured and you didn't stop. I didn't know I hit somebody. Damn, well, seriously injured. Bro, I want to know how injured. Like, do you think they like... Like, she ran over their, like, fucking foot. Or, like, I think it was a biker, right? I think she hit a biker. And he probably broke his legs or something like that. It's a beautiful, clear day. Here's... Step back from my truck, please. Okay. Do you have anything on your person I need to be concerned with? No. I'm going to have you sit here in the back of my car. Can I talk to someone? Why are you, like, restricting me? Because you're under arrest right now. Have a seat the truck for now. We can pass along He's whatever being you... so nice, too. Why are you restricting me? Because you're under arrest, ma'am. Uh, I have to put you in the back of my car because you're fucking pissed drunk driving around with your goddamn kids in the car and you hit someone. Big step, so step on the... Yeah, you're downhill. I know. Step on the... Yep, the step there. The other way. I'll help you. Yep. Turn so you're... Go the other way. So I you're can get in the Jesus car. Christ, do you know how to get in a fucking car? She's telling me she knows how to get in the car. Well, it doesn't look like it, lady. Jesus Christ, it looks like you're going in fucking backwards, like you're going to sit on your fucking knees. Get in place then. Oh, brother. That's how she gets in cars? In addition, your operating privileges will also be suspended if a detectable amount of a restricted controlled substance is in your blood. Will you submit to an evidentiary chemical test of your blood? As a result of the accident, the bicyclist suffered a concussion and fractures to their lower back. Yo, she probably fucking walked him. Fucking nailed that motherfucker. Probably going like 30. Probably not going that fast. Probably going like 30, but you you had somebody going 30 miles an hour in a fucking 4,000 pound car. Yeah, they're going to go flying. Reach. Well, I want to know what happened. You just have a seat on the bench. They'll take the handcuffs off when they get out here. Just because I haven't told you yet, um, the charges are going to be held on um, is 
hit and run involving great bodily harm and intoxicated injury Damn, by intoxicated. what is the fucking prison sentence for that? Um, you, know, you know what's going to happen? She'll probably get sued by that guy. She won't go to prison and she'll have to get one of those. She'll probably have like probate or not. Probate, she'll probably be on probation, not go to prison. And she'll have to do community service and have that weird thing that you got to blow into to prove that you're not sober or that you're not drunk when you fucking get in a car. No, that takes yeah, you know, like house arrest or some shit like that. I doubt she goes to like a penitentiary. She'll probably get a good lawyer. Be in a nice car. I'm just using my evaluation skills here. She'll probably pay a nice lawyer. Well, I'm gonna get charged with something until you get the test results back. Well, the hit and run doesn't require. No, okay, yeah, I understand. It's the court process. I understand now. Marie was charged with felony counts of hit and run causing bodily harm and injury by intoxicated use of a vehicle. She was released on a $500 signature bond with conditions of maintaining absolute sobriety and no possession, consumption of alcohol. For how long? Forever? Bro, she only got charged $500 for driving drunk? She got charged, that's like, that's like a big speeding ticket. $500? I mean, it'll be $500 and she probably has that thing in her car. But that's like not that big of a charge. She was and you released ran on someone over. You hit someone. It's not like you were just driving drunk. You fucking hit someone. Five hundred dollars signature. A DUI and a hit and run. What does absolute sobriety mean? For what period of time? For the it's not forever. Your bond with conditions of maintaining absolute sobriety and no possession, consumption of alcohol. Support code blue cam by joining our Damn, that was a good ass video though. Degato for the uh, for the three hundred biddies. I'm the kid from yesterday with the face fat problem. Tried uh, gum deficient exercise ever or everything, etc. Besides that point, I appreciate your effort to make uh, videos and W video picks. Thank you. I mean, W you guys for most of you guys sending most of these videos in the fucking uh, video suggestion tag. I'm not the one that's finding all of these videos. It's mainly you guys. Um, I'll actually save this video for another day. And we'll go to this one. All right. Next video. I went to the incest capital of America. Home, Alabama. A great song to some and an incest meme to most. Seven months ago, I met this guy while I drove through Alabama. Well, rumor has it they uh, fornicate with their siblings down here. Well, I go across town when you go across town. Tyler's so unbearably unfunny sometimes. It's like, you know that joke I made during the, the, co the Code Blue Camp video? It's like that, but like repeatedly. Like, like every once in a while. With their siblings down here. Why well, go across town when you go across the hall? <laughs> so today I drove 17 hours to the incest capital of America. I do like that he's switching up his content though. He is swapping it around. He doesn't do those like cringe ass videos anymore. One simple question. The question is Do people in Alabama slam jam cousins? Uh, probably. You know someone who's kissed their cousin? Yes, sir. Yeah? Yeah? No. One of my cousins on that side of the family decided to do some stuff with my other cousins. You ever kiss your sister? Ooh. Yeah, no. Nope. Did it ruin the family? I don't really talk to them that much. Okay, so if we keep looking, we will find someone? You're right. Okay. And sure enough, I found someone. You, you considered making love with your cousin or no? No, I'm not that <laughs> far. What about kissing? Yeah, 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 I've done it. Oh, you've done it? So what gave you the urge to kiss your cousin? Hey, she was hot, I was hot. We were both 17, <laughs> and I was visiting my aunt and uncle, and... And things happen. Yeah. They but this is Alabama. My grandparents were second cousins. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. Bro, he's at a Walmart just walking around talking to people about incest. And he found someone that is giving an in-depth fucking story on this shit. Did you kiss your first or second cousin? She was my first cousin. And she's beautiful. Where can I find someone who's made love with their cousin in Alabama? I need the inside scoop. Battle of South. South. Where? Mumford, Alabama. Mumford. Yeah. Is that South or North? Uh, South. Roll Tide, baby. Why Mumford. do they know a fucking city? What, 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 is that like an actual incestual city? Munford. God damn. Munford. 
Do people in Munford fuck their cousins? Do you think that's a bad Google search? I'm going to word that differently. Do people in Munford commit incest? And now it's showing me sex offenders in Munford. Okay, that's not what I want to see. That's I, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to Google this. What is the incest capital of the United States? Oriskany Falls is the incest capital of the world. That's in New York State. So it's not the South. New York State. But who the fuck lives in New York State? No one. Here we come. Yeah. So I got on the road heading south to the city of Munford and stopped by Birmingham on my way where I accidentally found my second lead. Have you ever rodeo railed a cousin? No, dude. Why do you think that's a uh, stereotype? Uh, probably that that blue family online. There's a family that was so incested they turned blue. Like the Smurfs? Like real sh**. I think they're from Alabama. Do you have any last words? Um, just get money. <laughs> With a blue Smurf incest family. That was not a funny comment. Hold up. Max for the 300 bitties, Ashton for the 300 bits. Did you know Ludwig's, Ludwig's grandparents are cousins? Search it on YouTube. They might be like second or like third cousins. You can legally marry your third cousin in the United States because you're basically not related. Um, Like in the U.S., outside of the U.S. So if they're third cousins, that wouldn't surprise me because there's probably people that are married that are third cousins that don't even know they're third cousins. Because what is your third? What is a third cousin? A third cousin is somebody that shares a great-great-grandparent to someone else. How does that work? Your great-great, your great-great-grandparents were related. And that makes you cousins. But then everybody else could be removed outside of that. And then you could have third cousins once removed and shit lead on my radar I headed further south and finally arrived in the city of munford excuse me can i interview you for five bucks hey, have you kissed a cousin yeah yeah <laughs> is she hot yeah Honest <laughs> fucking hell so oh yeah would you smash yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> i'll be honest with you i ain't gonna lie to you here's five dollars and where are we right now munford alabama have you ever kissed a cousin no would you ever think about it no do you have any words to all the cousin kissers out there quit <laughs> Quit it while you're ahead, right? right? You wouldn't kiss a Bro, five bucks. This man just said he would fuck his cousin on camera. That is nuts. That is nuts. Not even like, hey, can you say this? Like, just asked him. Bro said, yeah. Sister, though. Yeah, if I had a sister, I would. Yeah? If she was looking good enough, and you know what I'm saying? What do you have to say to other cousin kissers out there? Well, he just said he would kiss his sister. Oh, my God. That was a delayed reaction I had on that one. Oh, my God. No. No! Out there? Quit. <laughs> Quit it while you're ahead, right? right? You wouldn't kiss a sister, though. Yeah, if I had a sister, I would. Yeah? If she was looking good enough, and you know what I'm saying? What do you have to say to other cousin kissers out there? Each their own. Yeah? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> you're the man, brother. We had found a cousin kisser, but I wanted to find a legitimate smurf. And this guy gave me some advice. Give me a full list of the cousin kisser cities. You gotta go, you gotta go south, man. Okay. More south than here. While we have met several cousin kissers, the consensus is we have to go further south. But on my way to take a massive dump in this generic fast food chain's toilet, I ran into the cousin kisser again. Yo, we meet again. Yeah, you guys just meet? We live together. All right, all right. I just got out of Cameron County Jail, man. Okay, Spring congrats there. on the freedom. Yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. you know a few folks out here besides our good friend right here. What up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Look, I can't be dropping names, but I mean. Yo, this guy's a character. I feel like I've seen somebody that's exactly like him in like a movie. There's some uh, cousin lovers. Harold and Kumar. Harold and Kumar. Fuck. I've seen him. Oh, my God. No, sister incest. Oh, God. I don't know if I should Google this. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Sister incest scene. Oh, God. Guy. It's like the dude is like. Oh, it's, oh yeah. Here he is. Wait. No, that doesn't look like him. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. I don't. It might not be that one. It might be Escape from Guatemala.
Chat, do you guys even want to see this? I feel like I'm wasting my time. Here it is! I found it! Fuck! Does that look anything like him? It does? Okay. Fucking hell, dude. Oh my god. I just I just fucking ruined my Google search with that shit. Alright. <laughs> okay. Some sister brother like Yeah. I, Where? Blue Mountain. Blue Mountain? If you're brave enough to go to Blue Mountain. Alright, boys. Yeah. We're, go we're going to Blue Mountain, boys. Hey, look, I, it's time. It's, it's time. time. Yeah. <laughs> they don't time to answer. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm nervous. Blue Mountain is apparently a legendary location. It's a DLC map. This is an insane journey. Alabama has exceeded my expectations and then some. Blue Mountain, here we come. So I drove to Blue Mountain and I wondered to myself, is this where the legendary Smurf family lives? As Don approached and I got closer to Blue Mountain. Max for the five gifteds, bro. Thank you, Max. The Pope for the five gifted fucking subs. TV for the sub. Max for the 300 bets. Ashton for the 300 bets. I already read those. But Max, thank you for the five gifteds again. Stop gifting subs. You said you were done gifting subs three times. Clear that this place was sketchy as hell. So I went to Dollar General to see if I could add a backup NPC to my party just in case things got weird. I'll interview someone here for $5. Anyone interested? You down? I'm gonna give you $5 up front. What city are we in? Anderson. Oh, where's Blue Mountain? I thought we were in Blue Mountain. Blue Mountain is a block on the hay. We're trying to find someone who's kissed their cousin. That's the goal here. Do you know where we might go? Blue Mountain. Do you know someone personally? No, I don't. Have you ever thought about kissing your cousin? Yeah. Did you do it? No. I respect that. Yeah. Would you like to go to Blue Mountain with us? No. <laughs> Do you have any hot takes? Uh, <laughs> careful around luck. here. Careful? Good luck? Mm -hmm. They're decent people, just watch where you're going. Just don't kiss me, one. Just don't kiss me. Don't kiss him? Hell no. What if I kiss him on the mouth? Dude, is that like a normal thing in like southern states, like like Alabama, to just know that like one city is just full of people that like do it with their cousins? Like what? <laughs> with it's even just more like a normal thing there? warnings and no backup i pushed onward I to say no like what i feel like i feel like how is he finding these people that are saying this mountain alone this place looks awfully dark and scary all i know is they told us to keep our head on a swivel and be on guard at all times if you were to stop with no gas you're just gonna get excuse me can i interview you for a dollar no okay no worries can i interview you for a video two dollars tyler also looks pretty muggable like, I feel like, like, he he doesn't look like a very intimidating person, like, to the effect of, like, okay, if I go to mug him, he's not going to stab me. Like, he looks like you could just pick, pickpocket him and run away, and then he would be, like, pissed. Two bucks? What about five bucks? No, you all right? But apparently I pissed this guy off because after eight straight rejections, my cameraman told me this. He, he flashed his gun at me. What? Which one? Red car? A uh, guy that wasn't a passenger. She gave me a peace sign original. I said, which one? Which one? Which one? We need to go. We need to go right now. We need to go right now. Get me out of here. Throw me out of here. And then he walked out. Nah, I would dip fast as fuck too. No lie. Somebody flashes their gun at me. All right, man. I get it. I'll leave. To his shirt, showed me his gun. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna press you anymore. I don't give a fuck about the content at that point. All right, you flash your gun, I'll leave. I'll go to another city. Um, probably not a best idea to be here. Yeah, this will be our last location, then we're peeling it out of here. We're going south. Have you ever considered kissing a cousin? No. You know anyone who has? Yes. Do they tongue kiss? I don't know. Would you suspect that they might? Probably. Does that make you uncomfortable? It does. Can I interview you for five dollars? For six dollars, you can. All right, it's a deal. You guys are in a complicated situation, ship. No, we're in a relationship. So you guys are not related by blood, though. No. Would you guys date if you were related by blood? No, absolutely not. I mean, it, weird, at some right? point, it's so, I mean, somewhere down the road, you have to have some sort of relationship. That's where are you from? I'm from Alabama too. This is kind of weird. She almost said something mad weird there. Question. Like, what do you mean? This is like, what do we date if we? Were why is it? A, but that's the whole premise of the, the question, right? That's why you got six dollars. Cousins, can, like cousins, brothers marry sisters all the time. Where are brothers marrying sisters? Yeah, Somebody's asking, why are you asking this? You got the six bucks. You can't ask any questions. I asked the questions, pal. A few people that have. Tell me about it. That's why I'm here to ask. So you know. What is this yeah, this is good. Railroad roaded or? I'm not gonna. Freeway fornicated? Mm, no, I'm not doing that. I'm a teacher. I'm not doing that. Drive by jam and slam? You should. Why are you asking the questions you don't have to answer? Okay, my bad. Would you like to answer? For, for what? The scoop on the sisters? No. Where can we find a cousin kisser? Mm. Probably go south more. Thank you guys. Bye. My take well, why do they just keep saying go more south? I feel like eventually you would meet like hippies that are by the beach. 
Hey, so we need to go south. Question is, like will the cops revert. be called on us? I just saw the guy dial like three buttons. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Like, I would always associate people that are doing incest. I mean, this is stereotypical. But I would, I would always associate people that are doing incest with people that don't live near the coast. People that would live like in the deep south in like the mid, like in the woods. Like somewhere over the fuck here. In the middle of nowhere. Escaping Blue Mountain unharmed, headed as far south into Alabama as I could wow. go. Five hours deep into the backwoods, I stumbled upon an unexpected scoop. This gas station's on the ground. That tractor's four-wheel drive right now. It's an Alabama moment right here. <laughs> How you doing today? Good, all right. What city are we in right now? You're in the backwoods called Wing, Alabama. Do you know anyone who's it's kissed their- Wing, co Alabama. Cousin out here. Dude, nice. I wish I had a cool-ass accent. Uh, yeah, you're in, you're out here and call Wing, Alabama. We've been out here maybe three, four, maybe five years. I'm around, but I- I got some dumbass New Jersey accent. I'm not calling no names. <laughs> got it. <laughs> So, which direction should I go, though? Manifest just redeemed do accent of choice. What accent would you like me to do? Max, for the three hundred best, have you tried Prime before? I have. Formar for the sub. And Max, thank you for the forgifted again. What accent does Max want me to do? Or not Max, Manny. What the fuck am I saying? Did I say Max? Manny. Let's hear a deep southern accent. A deep southern accent. Wait, hold on. I got to hear somebody talk. I, I'm good at replicating accents. I'm not. I think I am, though. Someone has kissed their cousin out here. They some around, but I, I'm not. They say some around here. Uh, they're really, they're really out here to be kissing their cousins and stuff like that. Me personally, though, no, I never ain't messed with that stuff in my entire life. But the people, the people out in maybe deep, deep Alabama, uh, you know, you never know. Uh, I do know this man named uh, John John Smith. Uh, his son Carl. Uh, is really into his cousin, right? I, he took an, he took her to prom too, uh. So I don't really know, I don't really know if that was a good decision on his part because his did his friends did bust his nuts a little bit on that one. I mean, literally, they smacked him with a bat. Um, so I I don't know. I would I I wouldn't I wouldn't I don't know I wouldn't know where you could find one outside of him. But I mean, he doesn't do that anymore after the nut smacking incident. Calling no names. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> So, which direction should I go, though? I'd go right up the road here. That's vegetable stand. Ooh, vegetable yeah. stand? After you pass the church. Just go check that out. Go up there and talk to him. Oh, the guy at the stand? Yeah, young guy. Okay. Is he, uh... Find the vegetable stand. Dating his cut? All, all right, we'll check it out. Well, he got shotgun to the face. It's possible. Whoop, stomp, kick, beat. Straight right. The good old teeth stomping. They could that the old mud flapper. He getting curb stomped. But all, all around here, every curb's filled with mud. So not only does it break your teeth, you also get a little pudding stain all around your face. We're looking for a vegetable stand. Stop Apparently the guy who fans. Uh, it's the vegetable stand. All right, uh, done. Stop making me do accents. It's an incest Last time I did it willingly. All right. We have to go past the church. This guy either has kissed his cousin. Is that actually or... a good accent, though? I don't think I... I think I think I do good accents. I do terrible-ass accents the product of cousin kissing if you know what i mean we're entering an unpaved road what could go wrong this is a good sign hand painted gourd let's make america great again birdhouse this has got to be it let's investigate Bird further house. hey there jesus 2020 or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul all gourds 15 dollars except beach view 40 dollars oh is this the best dollar gourd that's pretty hefty Vegetable stand? Vegetable stand. Yeah. No. Well, the long story short is we're trying to find someone who's kissed their cousin. And he said. Bro, maybe, maybe ease in that conversation a little slower, Tyler. They seem a bit hesitant on you even being there. And you say, I'm looking for a vegetable stand. Oh, no, we don't got one. Uh, well, let me cut to, let me cut to the chase. Have you fucked your cousin? Because this one guy told me that you fucked your cousin. Like, that's how you gaslight somebody into fucking shooting you in the face. Go to the vegetable stand. Is it a plant? Um, no, a human being. Can I interview uh, you on camera for $10? Okay. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Oh, what is your... Oh, come on, dude. My name is Jean. In your time in Alabama, have you met many people who have been in relationships with their family members? Like incest? Yeah. Um, not that I know of. Do you have any advice to someone who may be thinking about kissing their cousin right now? Please don't. You only have one mate in the world. That mate stays with you forever. Are you married? I've been I married. I think he's at the wrong house. 
I think Tyler turned into the wrong fucking home. Married 13 times. Want to see my marriage certificates? Sure. This is crazy. I've never heard of anyone that's been married this many times. Yeah, oh, you that's you marrying him three times. Yes. That's just one man. I tried and tried and tried. Yeah, you... He just had to hit me in the head with an X to yeah. make me realize it. Yeah. Yeah, I married the same man three times. Okay. But God gave me partners to get through life, but you never have. Hit you, he you in the head with an axe. The one, but once. Who was the one for you? My children's father. He was very evil and very harsh. Beat me. And the last time I was with him, he hit me in the head with an axe. 57 stitches. It scalped me. So yeah. that was it. Yeah. With him. My girlfriend recently broke up with me. And that hurts. Do you have any advice for me? Oh. Yeah, my last husband used to beat me and scalped me with an axe. Yeah, no, I, yeah, no, my girl dropped me too. <laughs> yeah, no, like, no, I totally know what you mean, man. Like, I got dubbed the other day. It was just like, it was so fucked, bro. It was like, I couldn't handle it. Like, I just didn't really, I didn't really know what to do anymore. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Only Jesus. Okay. Life is good, and uh, you just live it one day at a time. Thank you for sharing so much. Thank you. As I left Jean's house and headed to the southernmost tip of Alabama, I realized that love's more complicated than the Disney movies make it seem. Alabama's crazy. And maybe oh, I shouldn't court. be so quick to judge people, even if they do kiss their cousins. As I stared into the ocean, wondering where these Smurfs were hiding, Sure, sure. These guys offered me a beer out of nowhere. Tyler, Robert, 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 yes, hey, oh, this is the one thing I liked about the South, bro. When I would go, I mean, the Florida doesn't really count as the South. But when I would go to Florida, bro, my God, I haven't been to Florida in like five years. When I used to go, though, you, dude, everybody, every day, every weekend, it would just be, it would be fucking big ass guys with like a beer belly, just fucking blasting music, just sharing shit. That was nice. How you doing? Roll tight, man. Roll tight, baby. All right, on. Yeah, baby. So here's what we've been up to. Going around all around Alabama, trying to figure out if anyone's kissed their cousin. <laughs> I can't find You know what's crazy? Is there is there laws against driving a boat drunk? Be Florida's the most southern state. The reason I don't really call it the South, though, is because Florida it has a lot of people that just come from the north. Like a lot, like every other person you'll meet from Florida used to live in New York or like Pennsylvania or somewhere like that. Like you don't really find many deep accents in most parts of Florida, like by the coast. Like if you're by like Daytona, Orlando, shit like that. Like Miami. Well, I mean, Miami's just everybody, but like, that's what I mean. But I don't know because I feel like when, it, when I was in Florida or just like any state that has a lot of boats and shit, I feel like most people are drinking when they're driving them. All the cash out of my By the grace of God, eleven dollars in ones made my dreams a reality. Yeah, baby, let's go Oh my God, stop it! Oh yeah, baby. Wait, what happened? I can't find it. Let's have a kiss. I'm gonna get you. I got. I'll give you all the cash out of my. By the grace of God, eleven dollars. We're gonna kiss each other for eleven dollars. Dollars in ones made my dreams a reality. Yeah, baby, let's go Oh my God, stop it! Nah, that ain't count. You gotta get some tongue in there. You got <laughs> That ain't count. No, 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 no. That ain't count. I need to see the I need to see the eye gaze. And then <laughs> I'm gonna move on. Fuck this. Fuck this. Get me out. Max or three hundred bits. Manifest, uh, you can if it's deemed property. What are you what are you talking about? Bane for the three hundred bits. Uh I was wondering if you could wish me a happy birthday. Happy birthday. G4 for the sub, Max with 300 bits. Um, Max with 300 bits as well. All right, next video. I got to pee again. Y'all got to count me down. Y'all got to count me down. I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs>
What's our next video? What do we have in store next? Mm, we'll skip this one. Because these reactions are taking fucking forever. All right. Next one. All right, chat. Which one are we watching first? What killed the Clash of Clans franchise or how to survive a polar bear attack? We're going to watch both. But which? Max for the sub. Uh, everybody's saying polar bear first. All right. A few people are saying Clash of Clans, though. All right. We'll do this one. This one's short. The Northern Lights are one of the most amazing natural phenomena that you can experience in your life. But wait, you're not alone. What is that big shadow in the dark? Oh gosh, it's a polar bear. And you are in the middle of- Oh gosh, it's a polar bear. I think I'd freak the fuck out more than, oh gosh, it's a polar bear. I'd, uh, I'd be fucking shitting my pants. They're a thousand pounds and eight feet fucking tall. The Arctic. How can is you that S. Johnson voiceovers? It is. He does voice for this channel sometimes. Goddamn, they got the AOT music. This in one piece. It won't be easy this time. And it's the only animal that hunts humans. I don't think polar bears hunt humans. Do they really? Survive a polar bear attack. Polar bears are fascinating creatures. They live in the Arctic and hunt on the Arctic Ocean. They are one of the largest land predators on Earth and are one of the largest carnivorous land mammals. During their hunting season... Do they, they ever get macked by a shark? Because I feel like a shark would fucking bite the fuck out of one of these while he's swimming in the water and shit. Mainly feed on seals. So in order to... Oh, no, look at your little chubby boy. Oh, they're gonna fucking eat him. You mean orcas? Yeah, like that shit. Oh, look at him. Eels. So in order to pack on some Aww. fat, they spend the winter hunting on the Arctic sea ice. Damn, he ripped that motherfucker open. In summer, they eat much less or even nothing. They can lose around 50 kilograms, waiting on colder temps and the ice to form again. Due to global warming, the ice season is shorter. Bro, I just go eat that big motherfucker that's beached on the fucking... That's beached in the fucking water. That guy ain't moving for shit. Not only that, the ice is weaker. So many polar bears... Damn, bear nah, now you're making me sad because baby polar bears are cute as hell. Bears cannot hunt and eat as much food as they need. They must spend more time ashore, closer to human settlements. And you can bet they are hungry. Can you chase away a hungry polar bear? No. Can you outrun it? Can it eat you whole? Step one. Okay, that's a dumbass question. Ain't it gonna fucking eat me whole? How the fuck would I fit my entire body in its mouth? Move slowly. Encounters with polar bears are always serious. They hunt in white landscapes covered in ice. So any shape they see can become prey. And they're kind of more piss yellow. Like, these ones are white. That one's kind of like, it looks like somebody peed on him. Oh, yeah. Even you taking pictures in the snow. They're fast, skilled predators. And they're not afraid of humans. So if a polar bear approaches you... But I feel like I could pet that thing. You think it would eat me, chat? Like, I give it a little no. I give it a little fucking um, snout rub. Just one of those, like a horse. Just like, Ugh. You think it would bite me? Bear approaches. Oh, it looks. It looks nice. You. Why does it look? Ni Don't make any quick or sudden movement. Gulp. The fuck was that? Instead, try calling for help by phone or radio. Polar bears can run up to forty kilometers. I'm not gonna move slow and call for help while it's actively rushing me. I'm gonna. Like, what a dumb plan that is. Yeah, there's a polar bear about 20 yards away from me. Uh, if you could send help out. Ah! 
and it starts fucking clawing my chest open. Just fucking rips open my spine like a Pringles fucking can. Broward. So unless you're Usain Bolt, don't even try to run away. Step two, pack some gadgets. You can't outrun it. I think it would be a shittier strategy to call your friend. Uh, yeah, you can't outrun it. I, I could fucking do something other than move slow and call my friend. Never try to fight a polar bear. They can reach 3.3 meters tall standing up and weigh up to 770 kilograms. Yeah, that one got a fucking big schnoz. Damn. So you are not a formidable opponent to them. To fill this impressive physique, they need at least two kilograms of fat a day, but their stomachs can hold How up. How much do they averagely weigh? I feel like I've looked this up before. Anywhere between 5.9 and 8 feet tall, 330 to 990 pounds. Average. I feel like a 390 pound polar bear, it would still probably kill me. But like, I would be able to at least fight maybe for like 20 seconds. 20% of their body weight. As much as 150 God kilograms. God damn, he's just ripping that motherfucker up. Whoa. Oh my god, dude, that's that's me when I walk into a fucking Buffalo Wild Wings. God damn, that motherfucker's probably salivating. Jesus. Hold up to 20% of their body weight. As much as 150 kilograms. So yeah, a polar bear could eat you whole. So instead of fighting, you might want to- Wow, how do you think it even killed the walrus? It didn't even really look like he was making much progress. And this dickhead's got these dumbass teeth that ain't gonna help him for shit. They're just big fucking wards of fat. So instead of fighting, you might want to pack some gadgets. Flares can scare away a polar bear. Wow, that's unlucky RNG too. Imagine being that one. That's just, that's literally a GGWP. GG, GG go next. I mean, that is one of the smaller ones. Because I don't think the polar bear is going to be, it looks like he tried to bite that one. I think he gave up. Because that one looks like, that one looks like he could take him in a fight. Joe Bodo for the fucking 10 gifteds. Thank you for the 10 gifteds, Joe Bodo. Dub in the chat. Thank them if you got a sub, but thank you for the fucking 10 gifteds, bro. And the 300 bitties. This is going on YouTube. I don't know. Silk for the sub. Jimenez for the 300 bits. Uh, when are you going to play Scary Game or Scary Reacts? Uh, Scary Reacts, I'll do one at the end of this stream. Scary Game? I don't really know. Uh, I mean, Sons of the Forest. I mean, if you think Sons of the Forest is scary... It's, it's It has scary aspects, but it's not a horror game. I'm playing that tomorrow. That you adventure through, like, caves and shit with weird monsters that you gotta fight. That's more of a scary survival, though, rather than just, like, horror. Firing a gun can scare it off, too. Just don't wait for it to get too close. You want it to be as far away as possible. What if I pull the most giga Chad play ever, and he fucking goes for my neck, and I go, and I just fucking... I just fucking grab both of his fucking jaws. And I just fucking rip it open. Like the Hulk. If it's too late and the polar bear's charging you. Realistically, I would probably go like that to rip it open. And he would just immediately close both of my hands and then bite my fingers off. Use bear spray. It will blind the predator for a while. And hinder its sense of smell. So spray it and run away as if your life depends on it. Cause it does. Step three, don't cook outside. Polar bear or just don't live where polar bears would live. I, I mean, like if you're already there, yeah, I get this is a problem for them. But like, I don't plan on moving to an area where polar bears will be. Are there, where do polar bears even live? Do they live in Alaska? It's Antarctica mainly. Alaska and as far south as, as, far south as St. Lawrence. Yeah, they just like, they'll move anywhere alongside like Alaska and above. They live in New Jersey. No, they don't. 
Joe Bodo for the fucking subs again, bro. Thank you for the fucking gifteds, dude. Thank them if you got a sub and thank you for the fucking gifteds. Joe Joe Bodo. I think I'm saying it right. So many fucking subs today. 297 subs. What the fuck? Max the Pope for the fringe bets. A pet polar bear would be sick. Yeah, as long as it doesn't fucking eat you. Bears have a fantastic sense of smell. They can smell. Wait, hold up. Yo, chat. Do y'all fuck with this thumbnail? I feel like I, I I'm posting a YouTube video right after stream today. It's about the most expensive house I've ever made. I feel like I feel like this number should just be like 800 million because 8.3 billion is kind of high. Is that a dub though? That might be the only thing I would change. I think the reacts good. That's a, that's one of the houses that's in the video, so it just kind of shows the video. Don't change it. That's a clickbait thumbnail. The only the, everything's true. The only that thing that's clickbait is uh my thumbnail guy put this as the price tag. I think the highest one is like it's still in the billions. But it's more around like two or three billion, not eight point three. Goofy ass face. I think it's still a fucking good thumbnail. Cave for the five gifteds. Mistake for the five hundred fifty bets. Max for the three hundred bets. And L.A. L.A. Neven for the three hundred bets. I like this guy, and I found out he likes me. I don't know how to ask him out. Any advice? Uh, also, what's your opinion on Barbarian? I've already talked about that movie a bunch of times. Uh, it's like one of the worst movies ever, but it's also pretty entertaining because it fucking sucks. Um, and I don't know. I mean, I don't really know what he likes or what you like. You could ask him out on a date, though, to, like, something you're both interested in, if you know him that well. Gabe for the five gifteds. Thank you again. All right. Y'all fuck with that thumbnail, though? All right. Smell prey from more than a kilometer away. So you don't want to carry smelly food in your backpack. What's it for? A YouTube video that I'm posting after stream. Or cook it outdoors. Also, if you catch some fish- oh, look at this fucking jackass. Like he's gonna fucking defend himself from a goddamn polar bear. My god, buddy's got the straw hat and the half-built fucking plastic fishing pole. I think he's gonna get fucking mauled by the polling bear. I don't think fucking this little dude's gonna survive that attack. Fish, don't leave it hanging around. It can attract Not a polar- I think you're losing that one. Bear. Not only could it eat your dinner, it might have you for dessert. Step four, pack and move. In Joe Bodo for the five says, is this going on YouTube? This specific video, I do not know. I decide that afterwards. Um, I don't serve, I don't decide that while I'm streaming the, the specific videos. Squid for the sub, Alamont for the 300 bits. Uh, your camera looks so bad in this Fall Guys clip. Yeah, I know. That one's from fucking three years ago. 2013, a group of hikers went camping in the Torngat Mountain National Park in Canada. At night, they saw a mother polar bear with her cub, so they started yelling. The Dude, bears little polar bears look so harmless, though. Like, I really don't think that little fucker would hurt me. So they started yelling. The bears didn't come closer to camp. But the next day, another polar bear showed up, and this time, it closed in on them. They fired a flare and the bear got scared and retreated when the shell landed near it. That night, the bear came back and broke down a tent, grabbed a hiker in its mouth, and started to leave. The other campers ran after the bear, screaming and making noises. Then they fired another flare. It and grabbed him by the neck and just started dipping. I feel like that would immediately kill you. That would, like, snap your fucking neck. The bear dropped the hiker and ran away. He was so badly hurt that his friends were afraid that he was dead. But a few hours later, a helicopter flew him to emergency medical care, and he survived. Ooh, dub! But he lived through that one. Wow, what a story that would be. What a story that would be. Fucking randomly at a bar one day. You know, I uh, actually got bit by a polar bear, and it was fucking slugging me around uh, by my neck. I was like a fucking rag doll to that thing. So never camp alone, and never- Somebody redeemed Dent? Joe Bodo for the $25 dono. Appreciate that shit, bro. David for the fringe bits. Haven't been in stream in a month. I've been feeling the best mentally. I'm working on myself. Well, it's good you're working on yourself, and, um, 
I'm glad that you're back. But I mean, if you need to take a break for working on yourself, mental health, all that stuff, I'm I'm, I'm not gonna be upset. Uh, watching my stream is entirely optional. But thank you. Uh, and I'm sorry you were going through some stuff. Tipped out for the three hundred bets. Uh, that kid is bait for real hunters to get the bear. Uh, Slava for the five hundred bets. Cali for the, uh, for the five uh, or thousand biddies. Uh, is that Eddie bussing? Yeah, I'm pretty high right now. Or ignore warning signs. If a polar bear shows up, pack up and get out of there. Step five, avoid locks. DJ for the sub. Yo, can we go to the next video? I'm kind of done with this. Buddy just used the tip of avoid locks. Like, I I really don't think... I really don't think I'm going to need that tip. My my big thing is either carry a gun or don't live near polar bears. Uh, and if, a if you see a polar bear, uh, fucking run away. And then maybe you might live. All right. Next video. What killed Clash of Clans or what killed the Clash of Clans franchise? Not specifically Clash of Clans. So Supercell. Supercell is a company known for making a number of games in the freemium market. Games known for being free while also- Yo, Boom Beach is low-key underrated, but also kind of really fucking annoying of a game. Uh, Clash of Clans, I would- Dude, this makes me miss Clash of Clans. I miss this Clash of Clans, right? I don't miss Town Hall 14 fucking bullshit, complicated ass fucking game. I miss Town Hall 6, fucking easy Clash of Clans. All you would do was just fucking do some base attack with goblins and dragons and shit. And you'd fucking level it up. The music was all nostalgic and everything wasn't goddamn complicated. I quit the goddamn game. And everything takes fucking 35 days to goddamn upgrade. That's why the game fell off. That's why I quit. It's too much of a grind. I'm fucking Max Town Hall 13. I haven't played the game in a year and a half. When I fucking quit, dude, everything took 35 days to upgrade. Being a bit pay to win to encourage spending. This gave them some of the most profitable games that the mobile industry had ever seen. And made Supercell into a popular name amongst not only the mobile game market, but also the gaming industry. Bro, cock takes like three years to max out. Dude, it takes way more than three years to max out. If you're if you started Clash of Clans right now and you didn't stop you played it nonstop all day every day like a computer and you never spent money on the game I still think it would take maybe 5 6 years to max out free as a whole but What did you say cock C O C cock Clash of Clans not cock as in dick Nowadays I rarely ever hear anything from them in the world of mobile games, the best performing games often fall under a select couple of genres, tried and true formulas that are specifically designed to work over the ages. The discoverers of these formulas push the envelope, and it's up to everybody else to catch up. And the Yo, fucking My Singing Monsters is the dumbest fucking game, most pay to win dumbass game I've ever fucking seen. I downloaded that whack-ass game back when they had those fucking nice-ass ads. Yeah, everybody's gonna say I'll take on this one. Let me play one of the fucking ads, dude. Anybody remember this ad? When you actually down, like, you, when you download the game, you're like, damn, this is way more of a grind to actually get to this point. This is, like, far as fuck into the game. This isn't, like, oh, uh, three months of playing. This is, like, fucking impossible. Jonas, skillful, and Luca for the sub. It took me a few months. Bro, like, I'll, to, to just match the ad, I just wanted some dope-ass music. I join in. I join in to my singing monsters. All I get is that motherfucker going, Beep. 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 Fucking just sitting there doing nothing. Doing absolutely nothing. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's not even entertaining. It doesn't even sound like music.
The story of Supercell is no different. With the rise of the internet, it provides a constantly changing environment. So it's not uncommon to see games in one entry of a series, receiving spin-offs with completely different mechanics- Yo, un most underrated game ever made, Plants, of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Oh my god, that game is so fucking fire. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 1 and 2. The best games, some of the best FPS games I've ever played. No lie. No lie, and I'm, and I'm, I'm running around as a fucking pea shooter. I'm running around as goddamn cactus. Fucking fire as shit. I love the pack. I love the pack fucking system. You can just grind the game or you can pay money. But like either or, like you could just be good at the game because it's just variations of characters. My God. Jobo for the fucking Jaboto for the 10 gifted subs, dude. What the fuck? $25 dono, like 30 gifted subs this stream. 317 tubs today. God damn, chat. Thank you, Joe Bodo, for the fucking 10 gifted subs. I appreciate that. Send formula. Thank them if you got Clash a sub, and thank you for the fucking 10 gifted. Clash of Clans was once in the forefront of the base building simulation genre, and it even ended up becoming the highest grossing mobile game. But as the times change, so does the type of game that will do well. People get bored of things rather quickly. And something that works one year may not be as successful. Oh, don't you shit on Zach, Zach Scott games, you fucking pussy. Oh, don't you make fun of Zach Scott games. I used to watch that motherfucker every goddamn day. I used to watch him every fucking day play those goddamn Plants vs. Zombies challenges and shit. So what if he fell off? So what if he fell off? So what if he gets 10,000 views a video now? So what if Plants vs. Zombies is a fucking dead fucking game and nobody goddamn plays it anymore? Zack Scott Games should still make the Plants vs. Zombies playthroughs. He doesn't even make them anymore. <sighs> My god, he's doing a Kirby's Return to Dreamland gameplay. Rooms to do in future episodes. This is going to be four for stage two. Damn, dude, he used to pull views, too. I used to watch him back with all the... Yeah, look at this shit. Plans vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare, 10 million views. Dude, this game is so fire. If you've never played this game, if it's somehow free or some shit, download it. It's so good. That's literally free promo. I don't give a fuck. That game was so fire. I loved it. Bobat for the sub. Successful the next. So the main goal seems to be to create a game with a new and improved strategy whenever people start to get tired and move on. This happens to be the exact business model of Finnish mobile game company Supercell. It all started when CEO Ilka Penanen decided to start a company with five other individuals. After coming up with- Yo, buddy talks way too slow. I'm gonna put you in one, two, five, my boy. The idea of making a game with what was- yeah, now that sounds great the time, referred to as cross-platform services, which is now more popularly known as crossplay. He was hoping that by making a game accessible on as many platforms as possible, he'd be able to garner a player base and continue updating that game. In May of 2010, the founders put what their- What the fuck? He sounds normal. Yeah, in 1.25. Any, any commentary YouTuber that talks really slow purposefully, just put them in 1.25 and they sound normal. Personal funds together, and Supercell was formed. And with that, they began working on their very first publicly available game. Their office consisted of a singular room measuring 30 square meters, which contained only six tables, some computers- Bro, I don't care. I, like, I, I, I don't care about Gunshire. Yeah, let's start with fucking Heyday, the goddamn, the goddamn game everybody knows of. Any of y'all play Heyday? I fucking used to, I used to grind the shit out of that fucking game. One of the games they were working on was their own take at modernizing the farming simulator genre. That game, with the codename Soil, was designed as a mobile version of Farmville and other games of that Loved nature. it. I remember they I used to just watch The Office and just grind wheat. I used to just fucking farm wheat for hours. Ended up releasing it under the name Heyday, and even early on, people quickly grew attached. The game was designed to be as social as possible, with player run stands being a large focus of the gameplay loop. Bro, Not to mention that further time- nah, I might get back into Heyday, bro. If I'm if I'm gonna get back into any fucking Supercell game, it's gonna be Heyday. Fuck Clash of Clans, I'm not playing that shit anymore. My god, it was a good ass game and I still love Clash of Clans, but it's just like, it's so grind based now. Time, the user interface was incredibly refined, with you being able to drag things around instead of cluttered up virtual buttons and sticks that were more prevalent then. The general idea of the gameplay is something oh, that- Oh, Clash Royale is pretty good too. 
damn. But Clash Royale, dude, Clash Royale gets so boring because you just use the same deck. It wasn't I really think Clash of Clans is their best game. Boom Beach is not their best. Neither is Brawl Stars. Everybody hypes up Brawl Stars. That game is nowhere near as good. Considered at the time. In most mobile games, you hop on and play a few levels, or try to get a high score on an endless game. But here, you're able to hop on the game and play it for a few minutes, making a slight bit of progress, then getting off for the rest of the day. And this led to a longer attachment to keep people pushing forward. The game's success was very- Yeah, you take the games- This is Supercell. They're gonna play when they're taking a shit. They're gonna play when they're taking a shit. Let's make a game that people can play when they're fucking pooping. That's Supercell. That's every Supercell game ever made. You play Clash of Clans ever. Like, I used to be so grind-based about Clash of Clans. But the last, like, two years I played it. Because I started playing that shit in, like, sixth grade. I started playing that so fucking long ago. Like, nine years ago. Anyways, I'm sitting there. I'm fucking grinding the game. Like, last two years, I would only play it when I would poop. Only in the mornings. In the mornings, I'd play it for my fucking 15, 20 minute shit, do two attacks, never play again. Unexpected. Till the next Life changing day. even. And Supercell continued to work hard on- Broke for the 300 bitties. It's been forever since I joined stream. I was wondering what's your opinion on Hogwarts? Yeah, I get Legacy. Will you ever play it? I will never play it on stream and I have never played the game. It looks not that bad, but it looks like there's a lot of filler. I don't think it would be a good stream game uh, to play for my stream and my audience and my chat has voted against it. TTV for the 500 bits. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare is the most addictive game I've ever played. Really? Soros for the 300 bits. Would you ever play FIFA 23? Maybe some, like, wagers against, like, JoJo or something. But casually, no. On the game, while also bringing back ideas from an older, cancelled project. Two months later, and Heyday would no longer look like that big of a hit. Clash of Clans. Dude, original. Clash of Clans was peak when the Prince of Saudi Arabia was the number one ranked player in Clash of Clans. Or, or Dubai, there was some, it was some prince. I remember that. That's when Clash of Clans was peak. When he was so maxed out, I remember I used to fucking, I, it was, he was like Town Hall 10. It was back when Town Hall 10 was maxed, instead of Town Hall fucking 14 or 15, whatever the fuck it is now. I remember I used to look at his base, I was like, oh my god, he's got the firewalls and shit. This is so fucking sick. He's so high up being the second game to go by the codename Magic, would be released in August of 2012. They took the fundamental idea from Heyday and put it in a much more interesting environment, along with some new elements of the gameplay. Clash of Clans holds a large emphasis on attacking and defending bases, with progress being the improvements to your home base and higher level troops. See, that's what my base looks like. And then progress is, okay, I'm gonna upgrade this expo. It's gonna take me 35 attacks to do which is over the course of like fucking four or five days casually if you're not grinding the fuck out of the game. And then I'm going to press upgrade. Now my builder's taken up and it's going to take me fucking 35 days to go onto this goddamn fucking expo. That, that air defense has been upgrading for fucking three weeks home base and higher level troops this wasn't possible in a game like heyday because the game's aesthetic as a whole was much more peaceful and while the game did really well the number of downloads isn't why this game did so well you know i probably shouldn't have even shown this on stream because that's what he wanted but like bro like what what financially that's out of nowhere too it's your boy from the fringe you know there's a new garden warfare a third one i know there's a second one would be in the form of microtransactions clash of clans doesn't force you to watch any advertisements so they got creative with how the game was monetized games in the i put a hundred dollars into clash of clans when i was in seventh grade It got me three up it got me three Tesla upgrades. And I almost bought every season pass when it came out. It was only five dollars a month. I thought it was a steal. The amount of books you got, it was really it was really advantageous to have the season pass, not because of the skins, but because of the progression level you would make if you had the season pass. It was almost a needed staple to be able to progress. I was just going along with the wave chat. Sorry. Well, genre are designed I didn't get that one out there. A lot of waiting in mind. That way, people grow some long-form attachment and continue to play the game for weeks on end. 
But what happens when someone with expendable income gets tired of waiting? Well, that leads to the purchasing of gems to skip the waiting time so they can get back to the core gameplay. No, but in the other world in Clash of Clans, they give you a gem mine. But that gem mine only mines fucking three, dre three gems every other fucking day. And so if you ever want enough gems to fucking complete an upgrade, oh boy, you gotta wait fucking four years for that gem machine to create enough fucking gems to do that. This obviously caused quite a bit of criticism to be levied towards the company, for the game being deemed as pay to win. While it's still possible to get anything in the game without spending money, instead of spending your money, you'd be spending hours of your life to achieve the same thing. While the microtransactions annoyed some, it left Supercell with a lot of profit. In fact, from 2015 to 2016, Clash of Clans would continue to be the highest grossing mobile game ever. With it more than Fortnite Mobile? Its place being held on the top of the charts for nearly a full year straight. Two years later, they'd release Boom Beach. It was yet another version of the Boom Beach was kind of mid though at launch. Underrated, but it's still kind of mid. A base builder format, but this time focusing on a military aesthetic. It grew to be moderately successful in and of itself, but personally, I feel it didn't alter it's the- It's $100 to finish a week upgrade? No, it's- a, Now, if you're in like Town Hall 13, it's $100 to get enough gold to upgrade something and then finish it. That's how crazy it is. That's how expensive the game is. I think how, I mean, somebody has to have done the math. How much money would it take to gem from Town Hall 1 to max? Clash of Clans. The cost, this was in 2014 to upgrade to Town Hall 10. The cost of upgrading from Town Hall 1 to Town Hall 10, now it's Town Hall 14, which is, like, way longer. Like, you spend years in those Town Halls. But Town Hall 1 to Town Hall 10 is $12,068 if you don't play the game and you just gem everything. I'm, I'm lost because I've never played it. It's just the sense of, like, upgrading even to, like, halfway through the game is $12,000 format enough to really make an impact it's fifteen thousand now or town hall 15 yeah it's even more and those last town halls take even longer and longer to upgrade if you don't if you've never played clash of clans the basis of the game is like you just you upgrade more and more and your damage goes up the hit points go up you get stronger and everything gets better right but so do your opponents and everybody that you're going against and then things cost more and they take longer to upgrade and so the long the more and more you progress into the game the less and less progress you actually make Royale and it promotes spending. Released March 2nd, 2016. Clash Royale doesn't really do that as much, so that's the only benefit of Clash Royale. Four years after Clash of Clans. It was a spin-off that touted more features, deeper gameplay, and a completely What is next, Val stream? Probably next Thursday. It's your boy from Fringe Biddies. Different gameplay. I already read that. With the main content of the game revolving around direct PvP battles, expanding on one similar aspect from Clash of Clans, and deepening the mechanics to make it its own game. In June of 2016, at the peak of their popularity, Supercell founders would sell the company to Chinese holding company Tencent for eight. Hold up, I gotta post. 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 Give me a second, chat. Give me give me one minute. Give me one singular minute so I can find the video that I need to post. Un momento, por favor. My God, my Spanish is on point. Here it is. Posting. All right. 8.6 billion dollars, leaving most of their 340 employees with complete financial freedom. While that's wonderful to see, it could have very well been damaging to their motivation. As, when you have enough money to live the rest of your life without working, a lot of the stakes that come from working simply aren't there anymore. The game would go on to overtake Clash of Clans in popularity for a full year, especially when all the new updates would continue to be rolling in. Bro, Clash Cl Royale was so fire when it first fucking came out. Clash Royale went on to suffer with its own issues. The pay-to-win monetization was a lot more obvious here, as the more direct battle system let you see firsthand that spending money is by far the easiest way to get legendary cards, which used to be incredibly rare to get. Free-to-play players would get discouraged by this, as the people spending thousands would be in an objectively yeah, better- Yeah, that does annoy me though that the entire money basis of the game is people that want to spend money to get more progress. Bro, I'm also uh, probably going to skip this video chat because now he's going to go into Brawl Stars. I don't really give a fuck. I don't really give a fuck about Brawl Stars. Eh, Brawl Stars. Kind of shit. Kind of mid. 
Kind of mid. Even though Clash of Clans is currently only 6%. Your video got taken down. I just posted it. There's no there's there's no possible chance it even got taken down. It's not even up yet. It's still under review. Relax. Popular as it was at its peak. That popularity is still insanely high. And scroll. Right, let's move on to the next video. Done with it! We got two more. How this guy balances impossible rock structures. Mango for the three inch bitties. Who do you think is going to win the win the Jones versus Gain fight? I don't really know much about that, to be honest. UFC, I don't know. Do you? If you guys know about UFC, who do you think is going to win? Is that tonight? No, it's March 4th. So it's tomorrow night. UFC John Jones versus Serial Game. John Jones' record is way better. So just off of that, I'm going to go there. Wanty for the sub. People ask if it's... Oh, how this guy bounces impossible rock structures. Glued, if there's steel rods. A lot of people really don't understand that it's just balanced. Yeah, I... Whenever I... Do you guys see these videos on TikTok? <laughs> That's how I even found out about this being a thing to begin with. Uh, you see, like, three-minute compilations of these guys setting up, like, only three of these rocks. It takes them hours sometimes. Like, dude, I used to... Any of you guys used to balance your chairs in high school, or even right now, if most of you are still in high school, where you have those fucking chairs with the four legs. I used to fucking try and balance them on two of them all the time. If you've never done that, it's fun as hell. Try and do it. But it's almost impossible. And doing that is much simpler than balancing this fucking thick-ass rock on a fucking pin needle size edge on this other rock on a fucking slanted rock near the water. No. This would- I would go insane trying to do this. These mind-bending rock formations are held together with nothing but gravity. And this dumbass Dr. Zesty says, well, no shit, Joe. Chairs have four legs. Um, no one, no one disagreed with that. I was saying it's kind of hard to balance a chair because of the weight distribution on the two legs. No one fucking, I, I, I don't think anybody disagreed with that. A chair does have four legs. Yes. Rock balancing art predates the Bible and can be found across the globe. Michael Grab is one of the best balancers around. And his creations have turned him into an internet. Bro literally spent hours setting that up and then purposely fucking destroyed it. Why? His creations have turned him into an internet phenomenon. The structure that probably got me noticed first. All right, that one's a bit of that's that one's a bit of low effort fucking work here, buddy. I think I could do this one. This one's a bunch of flat panels here. Not that hard. Uh, I've set up a Jenga piece before, man. I could do that one. Internationally, it was kind of this orb structure that I made. And it's just hundreds of little rocks kind of balanced on a really tiny one at the bottom. One of my core drives is to make... Max for the five gifteds, dude. Max the pump for the three Japanese and the five gifteds, bro. You gotta stop gifted subs, man. You gifted way too many subs today. That's fucking nuts. Max the Pope, bro. Thank you for the five gifteds. That is crazy. That is actually so many subs today. The formation as impossible as possible or to challenge my own skill and kind of one-up. Bro, and Joe Bodo for the 10 gifteds as well, gifting a fucking shitload of subs. What the fuck, Joe Bodo? God damn. Max and Joe Bodo, thank you for the fucking subs there. Joe Bodo for the fucking 10 there. Max for the five. Appreciate the fucking subs, bro. God damn. Thank either of them if you got a sub from them. And thank you for the guy, uh, for the goddamn 10 gifteds. And the five. Myself and all the other subs both of you have given. Time. A lot of reactions to my process while I'm building is like, oh, no, that's impossible. That'll never happen. Right, that makes no fucking sense. How the hell did he do that? Did he just wet? I'm assuming he he placed all of them and held them and then just wedged this one down. That'll never happen, especially when I try to take a huge rock and put it on a tip. And then people are just kind of mind blown when I actually let go. Yeah, that's weird. Anyone can make rock piles, but Michael has spent the last 12 years perfecting the art of balance. I started 
balancing in about 2000. I'm starting a conspiracy theory today that Michael Grab uses super glue for holding his rocks up. Uh, I don't think it's humanly possible to stack more than four rocks on top of each other. Eight here in Boulder, Colorado and Boulder Creek. Yeah, I just fell in love with it and started doing it every day and it kind of took 12 over. 12 years you stacked rocks every day? My life. So I ended up quitting my job and doing it full time. They're all he gets paid? He gets paid? People out oh, there. he probably just does YouTube compilations of it. Oh my God, that probably pulls in ad rev. Who can call themselves professional rock balancers. But these fragile creations take a lot of practice. I pretty much go out on a daily basis if the weather's nice. How do you mainly pick the, the rocks? And how do you determine what order you're going to stack them in? Well, that's experience. That's him doing it for 12 fucking years, I'm guessing. The wind is what I consider bad weather. <laughs> so if it's snowing or raining, I usually go out anyway. I mean, that's just part of the beauty of the art form is just getting out in the elements. It took Michael over a decade to get to this that level. That is crazy. A lot of his creations will take multiple attempts to get right. How long do y'all think if you were given this same amount of rocks? How many are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rocks. You're given these eight rocks and a picture of this, and you have to balance them exactly like he did. So you don't have to figure it out yourself, but you have to just balance them like he did. How long would it take? And for like three seconds, it just has to stand like that. But you don't, you don't have to do it in a different way. You don't have to figure it out yourself. You're given the reference photo and every rock in the order that it's placed and how it's placed. Just the sheer balancing of it, I would say three days. Three days nonstop of me trying it out. Just systematically going up on each of these. His creations will take multiple attempts to get right. Each sculpture is different, but every time... And how I does he not get mad? Like, I would be fucking pissed if I stacked, like, seven out of the eight, and then they all fell over. Oh, no. Builds, he follows the same process. The first thing he must do is find I would the location... I would be as... I would, be, I would have a shattered mental equivalent to, like, losing seven Val games in a row. That's how I would feel after them falling. Like, like dropping from, like, plat one to, like, silver three. Like, just losing every single fucking game. For, for like, days. ...to create the stack. I've built several structures here over the years. I just like it because I like the texture of the rock and the way the water flows over the rock. Exumi for the five gifted. Thank you for the five gifted subs, Exumi. Joe Bodo for the five. I didn't see that as well. Oh, shit, I missed a bunch of donos. Joe Bodo for the five. Exumi for the fucking uh, five gifted. Love you and your fun, silly community. Please make this a YouTube video. What is, I, I, what is this? Like, which one? Also, you do realize I don't leave the donos into the YouTube videos. If that's what you're saying, like, leave this specific aspect into the YouTube video, this would be cut out. Because this is not relevant to the video itself. So my editor, cut, my editor, when they make YouTube videos, they basically splice it. So there's nothing outside of the chat interaction. Uh, generally. Uh, Terry for the 300 bits. It's been a few days since I've been able to catch a Joe Bart stream. King for the 300 bits. I really like this girl, and she and she knows I don't know how to ask her out any tips. If she already knows you like her, just ask her out on a date to, like, go out to eat. I don't really have a tip outside of that. Just ask her that. Zach for the sub. To create towers that look like they're defying gravity takes a lot of time. So Michael needs to make himself comfortable. Once I decide uh, where I want to build, I need to make kind of a temporary stone chair. Why not just bring a chair? Like so. And I'm just uh, trying to make a very stable surface to plant my body weight on, um, and one that's kind of level. Once he's got a comfy seat, it's time to choose his tools. For balancing, I want His the rock tools are aren't tools. They're just rocks. Rocks to be completely clean. Um, so either I'll grab them from an area that's not so uh, mossy or uh, just kind of loose, bare rocks. And I'm looking for different textures and surfaces. Uh, like this kind of has a cup on the bottom. It's really important to find rocks that have three points of contact. In between these three points is the center of gravity. 
It works exactly the same as a camera tripod. You just have to center the mass. So I kind of match that up with my Yeah, but it's way beam. fucking harder than that because you're balancing it on the tip of a rock, which is already not fucking equivalent to one another. Like, a tripod is equal. You just fucking stand it up. This thing, you got to fucking balance a rock, and half of this side weighs fucking three pounds, and then this side weighs another pound, and it's fucking weirdly out shape into the side. Like the balancing tip is probably like so fractionally small. Boulder here and get it in a position that is completely stable. What angle for the three inch If you were to pick a superpower, what power would you pick? What power would y'all pick? I don't know. Teleportation? That is a good one. Teleportation anywhere would be kind of fire. Hyper intelligence. That would also kind of suck. Because then being too smart, then everything sucks. Time control? Maybe that. I don't know. I really don't know. Max for the 300 bitties. Is this the last minute of the stream? No, we have a scary one after this. Between the contacts, so all the weight is going to be... Shape-shifting? What the fuck am I going to use that for? Channeled right to this point. He always works backwards, picking the final rock first. The bigger the top rock, the more impossible the structure will look when he lets go. This is the rock I've designated as my top rock just because I like the shape of it. And it has a nice kind of rounded point down at the bottom here. So I basically want to balance it in this orient. Oh, I gotta fast forward a little. Oh, I gotta fast forward a little. Get this one. I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't just listen to that. Yeah, now, now, I, now I can watch this. Strength to get this one balanced safely. I have to hold this one with this hand with how does he isn't there some formations that would never balance like i feel like there's a chance that he, this is unbalanceable and then he would have to rearrange the rocks like at some point there's has to been days where he's fucking holding it for an hour and then fucking nothing happens he's just never even found a slight point where it would balance all this weight so it's like really wanting to can you play rocket league with your viewers any day maybe one day i haven't played rocket league in like a year though gamer for the side. fall that way the rocks are heavy so any collapses could lead to broken fingers they always have a center of gravity yeah but finding all of them equally is like almost impossible so yeah if this whole art rocks... form is definitely not for the faint of heart you just kind of go all in or else you might get injured <laughs> once all of the rocks below are aligned the final piece of the puzzle is also the most risky, the top rock. As I'm building up the core of the structure, I'm kind of estimating this final weight and position of the top rock. And so once it actually gets up there, then it's like the actual weight that I'm working with. And so sometimes my adjustments that I've been making the whole time will be a little- I, My heart would be pounding. I would not be able to fucking sit there and just be calm. A bit off. They're pretty close right now. You think anybody's ran up to him and just kicked the shit out of it? Oh, that would be so menace activity. That doesn't even make sense. That would be such a menace activity. Fucking running up to him and just fucking nailing that shit. You see, you're just at the park with him. He's doing it for fucking three hours. You just run up and just throw a ball at it. Yeah, dude, I feel like that's an uncomfortable position to even be sitting in. Like it's barely balanced. Wow. But I'm going to get out of here because you got to do that carefully also. Because they're so finely poised, a tower like this may not last very long. The structures will last anywhere from a few seconds to a few days. At the end of every build, Michael likes to test the integrity of the tower by splashing it with water. Final process I usually do is uh, splash it with water. And if it can survive- Bro, you know he's probably left some of those and then people just walked up to him when they found him and just knocked it over. Wow, I would, would y'all, if y'all saw that just standing there one day, would you kick it or leave it? I would leave it. Through this? I would not touch it. Then 
It's worthy to be photographed. I'll probably take a picture of it. Especially if this I was going to kick in, I would take a picture of it first. Effect. If left overnight, yeah, take a picture and leave it. I'd be like, who the fuck did that? Part of this whole rock balancing thing is actually getting into nature and experiencing it firsthand, like turning over rocks and seeing what's on these things and learning about it. Wow, the, and it fucking melted, or not melted, it fucking froze, it's that cold. Life that's around. In a bit to leave no trace, Michael destroys all of his structures after photographing them. I would never, I would just fucking leave it. Uh, I like to document as much of the creation as possible, so that includes the build process, that includes the life of the, the creation, as long as it's standing and also the class. Dude, I would leave it for and people to go ideally... find. If I was making YouTube videos on that shit, that'd be so cool. All right. Are y'all ready to get into the scary video for the day? Max for the 400 biddies. When is the next unbanned stream? I don't know. Probably like two, three weeks. I don't do them that often anymore. Why? King for the 300 biddies. Uh, what's a good place to eat? I don't really know. Depends where you are. You saying like fast food or are you saying like a sit down restaurant? I fucking love steakhouses. Steakhouses are fire as fuck. My God. I would mac a fucking filet any day of the week. All right. The glass. This one could be absolute dog shit, though, because it has 895 views, but it also might be really good. Should we watch a different one? Because there's a chance this is TOS. I say we might skip this. Do we watch a different one, chat? I feel like we watch a different one. Just because, like, that, like, especially if she was in the shower there. Bro, come on. Like, that could be bad. All right, what's a good one? What's, like, a good... Ooh. Please oh, I've already seen this. Fuck, dude. I gotta get rid of the ones that I've seen. Cassandra or Cassandra? Fucking skipping the intro. Nope. Remember anything that happened at the Wilson Farm? What do you remember? And please state your name for the record. Everybody uh, lock Officer in. Crawley, badge two three nine five seven. I don't remember where I was before the first murder. All I remember is I was there. I was the one to find. Oh, let me read the description. Oh, it's about a serial killer. Can we watch something paranormal? I'm in the mood of paranormal chat. Are you in the mood of paranormal or serial killer scary? Kind of want to watch something that's like, yeah, like fucking ghost-ish, ghost-esque, something like that. Maybe this. Lost dog. By Burnt Mill Road. Bryn for the 300 Bitties. Haven't watched streams in a while. You make my day better. Dub King for the 300 Bitties. Is Starbucks a good place to eat for a first date? No. I mean, it's a good place to get, like, coffee, but, like, go out to eat. You're not going to go out to eat at a Starbucks. Unless you're saying you want to, like, grab coffee at, like, a noon. Like, that could also be a date. Max for the 300 Bitties. Uh, says, try the all-seeing. How long is that? Because I want to watch short ones today. The all-seeing. That doesn't even show up. All right. Lock in. Already starting off scary as fuck. Don't like the low-quality videos. They seem more real. Thanks for helping me out, man. Yeah. I can't believe she just ran off. It's... Anyone else coming to help? Nah. You're the only one who responded. <laughs> Lucy! Come here, girl! Lucy! Lucy! Bro, how the hell are they gonna find their dog? They're in, it's the middle of the night. They're just walking in the middle of fucking nowhere. Let's go down there. Like, you don't Charles even know where- down there. <laughs> Why is he, like, giddy about how it? How does she even get down here? Lucy. Aaron. 
thing. Bro, I would be like, you're tripping, bro. Get up. My friend starts doing that. He fucking gets on his hands and knees. You're such a nice guy. What the fuck? Dog. What did he say? I don't have a dog. I've never had a dog. <sighs> oh, you're too nice, though. <laughs> you should run now, lad. Before it's too late. Oh, he's gonna morph into something else. Oh, he's not human. <laughs> Bro, you better be picking up the pace, motherfucker. Oh my god, he's slow as shit. He ain't even moving. Aaron. Oh no. Oh no, you fucking idiot. Oh god. No, I'm I can't watch this right now. Holy shit, I freaked the fuck. Oh my god. What is that? Nah, 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 nah. Oh, oh, brother looked like a skinwalker. What the fuck happened to their eyes? Oh, God, it's hobbling towards him. gonna pop out of nowhere. It's gonna jump scare me. What is that? It's just a deer. It's just a fucking deer. Oh, oh my god, dude. Stop. Stop. I fucking hate these videos. Look at weird as hell. I would fight for my life on that shit. Buddy's trying to fucking claw my eyes out. Yep, no. I'm fucking punching you in your fucking weird ass eye. No. Bro got a party city mask? I don't think that looks like a party city mask. I think that does look a little more real. Because that is his eyes. It looks more like skinnish. It does look dumb up close though. Abstract for the 300 bitties. Started watching you two years ago. It's really hard to watch you live because I live in Australia. Your stream started at 5 a.m. for me. This is the first owner. You've helped me so much. Thank you uh, for your hard work and dedication. Thank you for the 300 minutes and the nice message. And I'm sorry it's hard for you to watch me live uh, when I'm live on weekdays because it'll be 5 a.m. That fucking sucks. Ed Litrick uh, for the fucking sub. Uh, Max for the 300 minutes says uh, the video got taken down then. I couldn't see it. Uh, I might have also just searched it wrong though. All right. We're going to call it there, chat. A uh, bit of a shorter react stream, only two, uh, three and a half hours, not four. But uh, I do have uh, to skedaddle as I am fucking starving. Uh, and I will catch you all later uh, tomorrow at 2 p.m. EST for uh, Sons of the Forest. Be there or be square. Me and Zussi playing it tomorrow, uh, 2 p.m. EST. I will be live uh, doing Sons of the Forest with Zussi. We played it on Wednesday. It's pretty fun. Uh, we're starting to scale into the game now, getting into really scary survival shit uh, and learning more about the lore of the game. So it'll be fun. If you've never seen the game before, feel free to tune in. We'll definitely do a recap uh, so you won't be lost. It's basically just a survival-esque game with cannibals, uh, but it's fun. We're going to be playing that tomorrow. 2 p.m. EST Sunday uh, is going to be another react day. Exclamation point Discord. You guys can join the Discord and send videos for me to react to. Uh, if you guys have any videos you want me to watch, you can send them in the video suggestion tab. Uh, feel free uh, to do that. Or I have a game suggestion tab if you want to recommend games for me to play on stream as well. Uh, Monday is going to be Minecraft. Tuesday, I will not be live. And Wednesday, we're going to continue the Sons of the Forest after Saturday because uh, we're going to try and beat the game within like two weeks or so. Uh, and then next Thursday, uh, maybe some more Fortnite and Valor and FMV game. I don't really know yet. 
Uh, but next, next Thursday is going to be the One Chip Challenge. But I'll talk about that later. But yeah, hope you guys had fun watching the stream. I had fun streaming for you guys. We had a great view count today, and I'm glad that everybody tuned in. I hope I entertained y'all, uh, and I will catch y'all later. Regulator for the sub. Who do we raid today? Matt Petito. All right. Thank y'all for watching. I will catch y'all later. We are going to raid. Uh, I hope to see y'all in tomorrow's stream, if not any future stream. But I will be live tomorrow at 2 p.m. EST. I'm going to upload on YouTube directly after I end stream. So make sure to watch that if you have anything uh, or any free time that you want to fill and you don't know what to do. Uh, but yeah, I will catch y'all later. We're going to raid in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.